Hey, this is your host Tristan here from the Distracted Podcast, welcoming you to another episode of Adventures in Space. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm recording now. All right, recording. All right. I think she is talking about my burp. I think she is. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I, I usually suck at burping, so that's... I'm gonna... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tilt that towards you. All right. Okay, Ben. Oh, yeah, I got it. We'll, we'll get a rating for your song later, okay? Uh, it's a, called a rough draft. It's a rough draft. <laughs> rough draft. It's pretty All right. Fresh. Where our adventure begins. What? No, he, he was talking about something. Uh, we're just talking about you behind for the other okay. show. Yeah. Okay. The main show or your other podcast? Uh, our D and D show. Oh. I have an idea, but I just. All right. So we pick up our adventure in open space. <laughs> no ship. Open space. Open space. No we ship. Who our... needs oxygen? <laughs> I don't. I actually you don't. don't. <laughs> That's right. I do. Oh my god. I already have no control over this. <laughs> Sorry. You know. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Our adventure begins in open space. Or rather, picks up in open space. Mm-hmm. Uh, aboard a massive, beautiful uh, cruise liner, basically, um, is two of every major race going from the the burning archipelago just outside of the sun traveling all the way to two male, the hub two of this solar system Bobby, it was four two male two female oh you're right i'm sorry out of four an of every Adam. male of every main race uh two male two female of each race traveling from the colony off of the sun to uh, known as the burning archipelago <laughs> All the way to the main hub of this system known as the Absalom Station. Oh, and all these worlds are what's called the Pact Worlds. Larry, can you please go lay down? He's like, no, I'll He's sit just going to sit. Don't you drink Hey, water. come here. No, gotta you got to come around. Out. Hey. Kick my dice. Hey, okay. hey. Come on. Marcus, come here. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, uh. Or, okay. Yeah, I was going to. There we go. <laughs> lay down. Lay down. Thank you. Yeah. No. Okay. That'd be a one shot. Focus. <laughs> or an NPC. On the way, within the first day of traveling, on their way to the Absalom Station, the ship is surprisingly boarded by a couple of rogue crews of goblins and a very large creature known as a Formian. Uh, where we're going to pick up is shortly after our two heroes successfully not only killed the two goblins quite easily, but also were able to take down a Formian, uh, I think it's a worker? That was a worker? Holy crap, That thing's got a plus 11 to attack and it's a worker? Dude, I'm <laughs> not excited shnikes. about the freaking soldiers, dude. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it is. But they were able to successfully take down a Formian, gods, uh, a Formian, and then uh, have a conversation with the captain, followed by a conversation oh. with the rest of the passengers on the ship, and inform everyone their true reasoning. I calmed down all the kids. Yeah, he calmed down all the children, all the younger people on the ship. Um, children, as in I was doing sixteen to eighteen years old. Than I was supposed to be. Um, I did my numbers wrong. Way to go. Wow, we're fixing a lot tonight. We are. Um, Maybe we should just start tonight. <laughs> no, because no, that no. was such I a need, good fight. I need them to know about those double nat 20s. I it was need such that. a oh good fight. Guys, guys, I rolled two d20s together, and both of them were freaking nat 20s. That was I the would like to also moment. state that the was the peak roll, of my life. The just first roll of the game was a nat 20. Right here, truly. The first, the, the, uh, that is true. Wow. The first roll of the I'm show right. was... By Finn, and uh, it was a nat 20, so that was also awesome. Sorry, <laughs> Um, So, where we are going to pick up. Holy mother, that's beautiful. What are you looking at? The nothing. Alien archives. An alien? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, not, nothing you're going to fight anytime soon. Thank the lord. It was a CR7. Barb. Hi. Barb! Hi, Barb. Barb is my sister. Yeah. I said hi to her. Right? Hi, the sister. Oh, that's the wrong rule book. 
Yeah, you guys fought the Formian worker. Like, oh crap! You guys fought the Formian worker. Mk, wait, is, wait, is that? Oh, Miko. Miko. I, I thought that said. I thought that said Mko. Ko. Like an RKO. Yeah, but like I can't really read that from here. I, I know it's a little. It was hard for me too. All right. Anyway, so where we're picking up is the next morning after. Uh, after our heroes were in this large fight, and after they were able to explain to everyone on the <laughs> ship what is going on. What? I was about to say, Tristan's poetry for, to himself. For a quick kid. <laughs> at the end. Oh. I was trying. So, my, my android's intent was to try to soothe um, the other passengers. So, as we were going to sleep. I recited a piece of um, a speech from from the home planet, one of the great leaders of the home planet, um, one of their speeches. But then nobody else was listening, so I just really inspired myself. Yeah, you were all. talking to your freaking so, wow. power it off not roommate. Well, I was trying to try, trying to say it to the whole. Can Everyone was in the rooms. Room. That was the best part. You were paying well, attention. Th- well, I thought usually the. I knew that they were in the rooms. I just thought that the doors would be open. No, the doors. Yeah. Why would? I mean, it's, it's like kind of like a hotel room. Okay, so the setting. Oh, uh, okay. Let me set the setting quick. Let me set the setting. Um, so currently, <laughs> they everyone is in their rooms. Uh, these rooms are similar. Think almost like a hotel with a and a cruise ship, both in one. Um, so the hallways are pretty wide. Like they're like six foot wide. Um, Larry wants lovings. Yeah, he's getting lovings. Um, they're like six foot wide, but wait, how do we do that? Uh, so each like for the two races or for every race, the two gentlemen are in one room and the two ladies are in another room, and they are across the hall. So for example, the two humans are going to be in the first two rooms, and then the next race, and then the next race, and then the next race, and it's kind of like a hotel where you wouldn't leave your door just wide open because you don't have like there's nothing there in between you then. Uh, so it's more of a matter of you would shut your door so that people aren't just walking into your room. Alright. So, it is the following, what's going to be known as morning on the ship. Uh, everyone is starting to awaken. Hi, buddy. Everyone is starting to awaken or... Cool. Uh, everyone is starting to awaken or in the android's case... Um, power back on from standby. She just has the stream open, but on mute. Thanks. Um, Unacceptable. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I acceptable. Thank you. <laughs> um, so everyone's starting to wake and her power back on um, from sleep <laughs> to standby. Power. Okay. Um, and it start. We're starting to go back to the cafeteria, the dining hall, um, which this morning does not look as elegant. Right. You can tell that they've kind of tried to take the frills. And the theatership of why you were actually being transported and making it just a little more realistic. They're basically saying, hey, you know why you're here. We're not gonna we're not gonna act like we're faking you out. Like you know why you're here, we're not gonna hide anymore. Like it still looks very nice, but it doesn't look like an elegant ballroom anymore, if that makes sense. Right. Um, so you are all at breakfast. So we should just go to Finn. Yes, so right. um, sure. let's start with we'll start with Finn. Finn, please describe your character for me. Sure, sure. For the audience rather, I know. So uh doing. my name is Kay. It's spelled like Key. C A Y. Uh, I'm a human. I'm about six ish feet tall. Uh, I got some blonde hair. It's short. Um I uh let's see it's breakfast. Probably brought the book I brought with me uh, into the cafeteria here just to read on the way. Kind of give myself something to do. Um, but I'm wearing a blue hoodie with some kind of symbols on it. Uh, and I've got this blue little orb of solar energy that hangs around my head. It's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> it is cool. That, that was more really cool. That was a Finn it thing, is. not a K thing. I know, but when you it said it cool. in your church, it's more. Yeah, because I got I'm just imagining K just like talking to somebody. 
is kind of cool. I, I got to <laughs> stick with the voice, otherwise I kind of tend to lose it. Um, but yeah, blue. Uh... Oh, shoot. Um, real quick, Music Wizard. Um, if you can hear me, I'll text you too. Um, you are the current stream boss. You can give one of us a re-roll oh. on a future D20 of our choice. Wow. So just let me know. You should give it to K. Who you want to give that to. That's pretty cool, Blue Orb. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, he, he seems like he's probably in his mid to late 20s. Um, I think that's about it. He's reading a book, eating. Like, with, you know, left hand, he's got the book. Other hand, he's eating the food. And he kind of looks around, notices the frill's missing, and goes, like I said, tried for a good first impression. Doesn't really matter anymore, though. Kind of look down the table at uh, Kib over there. Kib. Go, Kib. <laughs> Kib Kyle. So, <laughs> as he glances down the table... You see, wow. you see, um, a figure. It's kind of hard to tell <laughs> what this again. figure is. It's it's hidden under uh, a deep hood um, from a poncho. That is, uh, if you look close enough, you can tell that it's 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 covering um, some armor. Um, he does have a, a sort of mask on. Uh, from the armor, so basically all you can see is the eyes, and you see uh, if every now and then when he glances up um, from what he's doing, you'll see uh, white glowing eyes. I'm, I don't know why I'm looking over here. I don't know. He's in camera. Sorry. I was, gonna, I was waiting Sorry. for you to finish your White story. glowing there's, eyes. There's a light there, kid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gosh, kid. But um, my name is... Uh, rather, my designation is K13, K-13. That was a um, C. And I have been... Isn't it Yes, a? sorry, C-13. And I have been given the nickname Kib. Kib Kyle. Kib Kyle by my companion here. Um, my call sign is Spectre. Um, but I... Uh, there's, not, there's not much to tell about me. I mean, uh... <laughs> From from okay, at, at least so. appearance wise, that's all you can really tell about this this uh, this being. He's kind of sitting there, um, just kind of fimbly. Uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Fiddling, fumbling, fumbling around with his his blaster uh, in one of his hands. Um, not, you know, he, he's just cleaning it. He's not being stupid with it, of course, but he's cleaning it, and then he he. He puts it away, and he um, he's probably looking at um, his arm, like the. Uh, and when he when he looks at the arm, you can tell that uh, it's it's mechanical. Um, so he is, in, in fact, an android. So I mean, that's that's about all that you could you could probably tell from the the outside physical. So I mean, you're flipping an android. He does have two two. Um, Hey, thanks for following Brash Rooster. Yeah, Brash Rooster, yes. thank you for the follow. We appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Uh, he does carry two blaster pistols and a sniper rifle on his back. I don't carry a weapon. <laughs> Actually, I have a knife, but you can't see it. He has he has very nondescript colors, very like you know gray and black, and a few highlights of white, but mainly black and gray. Cool. All right. Yep. Thanks, um, so, like I said, the the, oh, let's talk about three, yeah. uh, the, sap, <laughs> the cafeteria is kind of looking a little less frilly like it previously was. Um, like I said, it's still a very fine looking room, very fancy looking, um, but there's not like a whole bunch of like what would look like almost Christmas lights hanging in the ceiling and um, like the giant chandeliers anymore. There's, there's still very large light fixtures. Um, and they're still floating, and they're still like, what the crap is wrong with you? Hey, buddy. Oh, heard Larry! That. You heard that. Settle down, buddy. You guys settle down, okay? Come here. Just calm down. You know okay. better. No, no more eating Wiley Wallaby? No, you, you can continue eating. Just look at him and say, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that is black licorice. Gross! Uh, so anyway. Black licorice is amazing, thank you very much. So, can you lay down? 
So yeah, <laughs> the Mine's bar room. Next to him. No. Well, I mean, that's, we that's up to you. Separate? Okay, yeah. You, I, I would have gone the same. Yeah, so the first day that you are there, that you were on the ship, they right. kind of wanted I mean, you to you sit were, with yeah, your yeah. race. But now, especially now that you know what's going on, that you're not here just to be, um, you know, part of helping the gover- the, the, the right. Absalom Station's government make things more efficient and more peaceful. Right, right. So now, um, they're, now, they're, now they're like, hey, just do whatever the heck you want within reason. Yeah. Um, if you hear any loud bangs, it's the night before 4th of July. People in my neighborhood are popping fireworks off. I don't get it. Look, guys, I love America, but that's tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, gonna... listen, guys, I love America, but you don't have to be all patriotic and stuff. Uh, <laughs> no. Just chill. No. It's the day before. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so that's yeah, what's... I'm, I'm sitting next to you. Okay. So you're sitting next to each other, um, and you know, the, the breakfast is... Kind of think of it like in Hook, where you know they kind of put all these these trays and stuff down, right. and before he his imagination kicks on, um, it's like they just look empty. But it's not imagine a, it's not an image of or it's not a matter of your imagination turning on. Um, once all the like servers, which are pretty much androids, but they're actually like they're pure robotics. They're, they're they don't have a conscious. They're server bots. That's right. Um, once they place all the dishes down then like the food kind of like it looks like it's a hologram and oh then it gosh. becomes solid you can smell it you can taste dude, it dude we're at hogwarts <laughs> yeah kind of kind of <laughs> holy crap um, we're wizards but you're a hairy wizard none of us can cast spells but down like everywhere down the table like there's food for every race uh, there's things that the humans would prefer there's things that every other race would prefer i don't have a list in front of me oil um, and there are definitely <laughs> things for androids like, to like, enjoy. As we're there, I like see something down the table I want, and I use gravity hold, and there's like a little gravity. It just like pulls up and brings it forward. Well, it's, it's, so what it is is basically like this is like a like a 50 foot long table, right? And pretty much every like five feet is the same. Oh, so sorry. no matter where you're at along well, the table, you have the same. Thing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. All along the table, you have access to the same thing as everyone else. Because I just read I can use that on objects. Just casually. I mean, if you want to mess with someone, you no, can take it off their plate. No, no, I'm not a jerk. Eh, I don't know. You never... You, <laughs> you killed my goblins in one <laughs> shot. Let's just go being a DM. Actually, mine was two shots. Both of the eyeballs. It was two shots. Whatever. This proves I'm stronger. <laughs> Which is... Actually, by stats, I am stronger than you. Anyway, so, do you want to do anything during breakfast? Uh, um, I want to try to contact a higher-up or a guard. Do you have anyone specific in mind, or just whoever you Anybody need? who could get me access to um, he armor. Wants to get rid of his heavy armor. Okay. Uh, I just want now to that he armor. knows all the disadvantages. Okay. Um... So yeah, you, uh, there's guards um, in the room. Now it's they look a little less ceremonial and more like legit in actual battle wear and right. ready to fight. Um, so there's more than mm-hmm. like, like yesterday it would have been like maybe three or four guards in the room, like two stationed and then one like coming in and out. Um, but today there's there are two guards at every single door. And there's constantly a pair coming in. Like, there's constantly at least one pair cycling through, uh, kind of patrolling. So, yeah, you can easily grab one of these guys and... I'll, I'll take one of the stationary ones so that I'm not interrupting their patrolling. Okay. Um, so, I'll, I'll, I'll approach them. And can I identify the rank? Uh, these all look like uh, private first class. Like, they're all... Right. These so, are the grunts. Okay. So, I'm going to I'm gonna walk up and be like, excuse me, private. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, might I have access to your armory? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Is there anything specific you're looking for? Uh, I need to trade in my armor for something less clunky. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Upon, upon seeing, uh, the reaction and the talk, uh, I come up and I go, could you, could you maybe score like a, something like a chew? Oh, dude, give me your other character. Oh, uh, it's in my bag. I think. <laughs> Sorry. I You're think looking it's for in my a weapon? bag. No! I left Locke at home. Right. Sorry. 
I what? just I left lock at home. That's my lock. My technomancer that I built. Oh. And then that's my scrap left. This is where I have this. Go ahead. Sorry, man. Sorry, continue <clears throat> your conversation. So you would like a weapon. Just something to shoot smaller. Something small to shoot. Yeah. Right. Fair just enough. If you get the chance to ask them, they they don't like them. Uh, you know I'm right here next to you. I know you're right here next to me. But so you can just ask me yourself. I could, but last I'm, time I asked I'm you obviously guys a question, you got angry at me, and I'm still well, 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 well. Well, I don't know if you guys all communicate. And he was like, "Yo, that K guy." I'm obviously the ambassador guy. here. I, I think I can take care <laughs> With of the this. lower charisma. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because like, do you have like? Yeah, we can take it to the armory. We can make sure you're outfitted properly. Thanks. Uh, you two are, of course, our star fighters, apparently. So uh, we're gonna make sure uh, that you are star fighters. <laughs> star oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> no. Ah! So we can uh, definitely make sure that you are properly outfitted for the Can we, can we, uh, can we get Tristan minus one for that? <laughs> sure, donate six dollars. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, and, and, and as I, I, I go, very good. Thank you. You get there. Uh, so then you just see him, like, he kind of motions for you to go back to your table, um, and sit down. Like, as I'm walking away, I'm like, he is... Just a private, though. I don't understand why I have to say thank you. Well, it's polite. Kind of. You're the um, DM. Well, yeah. Okay, this is a character conversation. Oh, sorry. God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and further right. You just hear a voice from above. GM. Polite. 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 <laughs> it's GM, sir. Yeah. Galaxy yeah. Master. Yeah. That's Gosh, what I'm man. My bad. You're welcome. But oh yeah, we it, it's just you. polite to say thank you to people when you know you ask them for something. Matter if they're, you know, even if it's a kid, you can still say thank you. It'll, mm-hmm. it'll take you a long time. Adding programming. Oh boy. <laughs> How long does that take? It's not very long. It's done. Oh, cool. Cool. Is there like a panel? So, you just program it in? You end yeah, up, you, so you two go back to your table and you sit for a minute, <laughs> and then um, a couple, like you, you notice. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up like some human food and start eating it. Hmm. I love this human food. Oh gosh, you need to stop. Um, so and you I just kinda like let it dribble out of my mouth and like, put it back on the plate. <laughs> You're like a you have a Androids have like a built in waste system, so they would oh, okay. be able to consume it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um it's just it comes out as basically just a great goop. So you are able to, like, basically you can eat and get some energy out of it, but you don't get like, there's no point to nutrition, there's no point to right. the flavor, anything like that. You can literally eat boiled chicken and get just as, amount of, just as much energy. And then someone else can act, like, a, another uh, organic being could actually eat the, the gray goop and get all the nutrient. It's kind of nasty, but... Would you like to eat my goop? <laughs> um, so whatever. So you're sitting down. It's gonna happen now that you said it. Sorry. Uh, so you sit down and you notice, like, you know that guard. He gets on like his his intercom and he basically calls for someone to. Um, after breakfast, he calls for someone to come and pick you guys up uh, and take you down to the armory. Larry, I need you to lay down. There you go. You're gonna have his sniffing in the podcast now. Larry. <laughs> um, <Just get up. laughs> uh, as we're walking down to the armory, I once again like take the coin out, out and I like flick it up, catch it, do that a few times, and then like one time just flick it too far and I'm like crap, and like it hits the ground. I go and like pick it up and, and just start again. <laughs> and I look at him. Yeah, I see that. I mean, it, it's kind of. A coin? It's from my dad. Oof. Why does that matter? You wouldn't get it. Not, not having... A coin is a coin, regardless of who it's from. It still has the same monetary value. Same monetary. Not the same, uh, Personal value. Personal value. Yeah. Interesting it's hard concept. For you just like it's hard for this dog to understand. Larry, come this. here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Now. You can do it, Larry. I believe in you. 
<laughs> He's gonna like charge. Like, Come on. <laughs> Freaking moron. Lay down. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Do I see the same guard who who was who I was talking to earlier? It's um, hard, hard to, to tell. Um, they have like masks. Yeah, and stuff. yeah they pretty much all look the okay. same, and like you would have to get right up and poor Itchy Pupper. He's just a pain. Um, yeah, you would have to get up and like be able to read their uh, designation mm. on the back of their helmet. Right. Um, and like you you didn't get a look at the guy that you talked to before. Um, so you don't know if, this, if the same guards that are leading you were the same ones. You can assume probably not since he was stationed there, um, but you can't tell for certain. Private. Uh, yeah. Your other companion told me that we would be outfitted for um, the best you possibly could outfit us for battle because we were the as he stated, SAR fighters. <laughs> so weird saying that. <laughs> okay. I really hate that I said that. <laughs> SAR fighters. But, Bapu. but does it not make sense also to outfit all of the others as best you can, since they are part of the same team? Uh, we're trying to keep uh, traffic to this area of the ship as minimum as possible. Everyone will probably get a trip to the armory. Sense uh, motive check. <laughs> Let me finish my sentence first. But uh, they will probably, we'll probably bring them out in pairs like this at different times. That sounds logical. For sure, the night, baby. It's crap. It's so bad. It's a 16. Yeah, no, you can't tell. You, you can assume he's telling the truth. Like, you can't sense anything bad. 16 is not bad. Well, it, it's a bad roll, but I have a good bonus. Alright, um, so you get to the armory, and you just, like, whenever you get there, you see these two giant doors just slide open, and it, like, it takes a minute for them to actually get all the way open. They're huge, and whenever you get in there, you just see walls lined with armor, with weaponry, I think anything. I just leaked oil. <laughs> that would be accurate, like... <laughs> it's, it's just, it's full of so much stuff that you, like, you're like, oh my god. I take, I take my sniper off, sniper rifle off my back, toss it to the side, and go and try to find a, I go, like, an actual I go, proper laser sniper I go, rifle. dude, that's, okay. I, I look to the guard and I go, yeah, we need guns, but not a lot of guns. Well, and there's a combination yes, I just guns, did that. swords, <laughs> knives, whatever you need. I think you need probably a, a, a Gatling gun. See, Tristan knows where I referenced. Suits your body. Go on, just I am actually really strong. Talking to the players, keep go, in mind... Go, I was not talking to your player characters. Keep in mind, you're not able to just pick whatever weapons you want. Right. It still yeah. has to be basically within the price range. Right, right. Like, I still want your gear to all be within the 2,000 no. credits yeah, that yeah, you yeah. originally were there. Crap. Sorry, not sorry. Like, well, you're well, already... You really said around, right? Uh, you can stretch it a little bit, but like 2500 is a hard uh, job. You want okay. to give me the, uh, the, the equipment I had damaged up? I don't know. Some... I'm currently, because I don't have a character sheet and I'm still I'm really sorry. bad at figuring out if it's Pathfinder or Starfinder abilities. Just, because uh, you got any minus right now. I have a take a screenshot of the character sheet portion of the rule book that's in the very back. Or I can just write it down. Well, because you want the skills, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, well, what going to be screenshot it, and then you can always have it. Yeah, yeah. That, that was my point. Or Shut your yapper! Just because you're right don't mean I'm wrong. <laughs> what the freak? Quiet, turd! <laughs> <laughs> my name! My <laughs> name! <laughs> Medicine! Medicine! Pain! <laughs> One tubby tubby. <laughs> Two! Oh my god. Of course you've seen that movie. Dude, Major Pain is the freaking best. I told you! So I he, told you! I came over and he was watching it. Dude, uh, one day I was watching it. Major Pain. <laughs> I still haven't done my Starfighter, by the way. I hope we don't need it. Huh? I don't I hope we don't need our, our Starfighter. This. No, no. Our Starship. We've kind of had to change how this was all going to work. Okay. Why? Yeah. 
I because I'm not a technomancer anymore. I do need to get with you and, and figure out my starship though eventually. It's not that hard. Alright. I don't have enough money. Um, yeah. Sorry, shopping episode. Da, 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 da. It's gonna be a lot of looking at computers and phones because it it'll be it'll be for we'll make it quick. We're gonna Four try. hours later. Uh, I'm gonna just say for the purposes of this as I look through the. Uh, I need to figure out how much that internal processor was so I can sell it back. What was the internal processor? The what? You mean your heavy armor? No, my vocal modulator. Uh, one hundred and fifty. One fifty. It was one fifty. Yeah, okay. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, they're not there. Okay. All right. Vocal modulator one hundred and fifty. Okay. How much freaking? Uh, as I look along through the uh, the pistol section here, uh, turn to the garden after looking through. I ask, "Hey, uh, is there a shooting range I could test these out at?" Uh, no. And he just, <laughs> just duh. Like, <laughs> he just leads you uh, basically to the end of the armory, uh-huh. and then there's just this giant sign for a firing range. Oh well, <laughs> like it's not small. <laughs> cool thing. And also, do you have a personal con? No. It's like one credit. You should get it. it or no, it's like twenty five. You should you should get it so we can. I didn't realize it was an yeah. item in the game. You can just pick up the personal con and. Like, they have it, you don't have to pay for it, just take one. Oh, Sigdy Fresh. I'll just credit. I'm just kidding. Yeah! I'm just kidding. Right. Dang, I paid for a lot of things that I didn't need to pay for. Yeah, you should have asked me. What about, like, uh, titanium cable, everyday clothing, formal clothing, well, industrial you bag? You don't need clothing. Um, Dude, that's true as an android. Since well, no, I'm saying, like... No, like, when, when, whenever... Well, I might... I have to get some shout-out. I hope the me. game goes well for you guys tonight. Thanks, hey! Thank you, you very much! tell me who you want to get the reroll for. Be a I'll text you now. Because K starts with the same letter. It's cool. <laughs> they both start with C. I love how you. I, I love how you go. K spelled the same as Key. Yeah. No. Key. Everybody's like, gonna think K E Y. No. I said Just Key saying. like an island. You didn't say like an island actually that time. I didn't that time. My bad. But even then, like if you talk about like. Uh, like the Florida Keys. Most, most it's people. K E Y. Most it? people yeah, think. But, Keys and you think it's spelled K's, or pronounced K's anyway. K's. So yeah, I you're know. just gonna. You're I know gonna people pronounce it K. A K, like the way that you spell the name, it would be more like like a Cayman crocodile or something. No, that's battle C-A-Y. glove. What the freak is a freaking Nova nice battle glove? No, it's C A Y. Okay, <laughs> music wizard's throwing things in there. It's great. He's throwing. He told me who he's giving the D or the reroll to. Is it to the first bad allowed, guy we fight? I'm not we fight? To tell. What do you mean you're not allowed? I think it's to the first bad guy we fight or the BBG. I'm not allowed to. Gosh say. dang it! I hate. What? How am I supposed to decide? When I you hate re-roll? so much the, um, the the way. Why are the way that you are? I, I hate so much about I, the. What are you looking way, for? Me? Any of you? Either okay, of you. I oh, want oh, oh, better that's sniper that's rifle that's than that's just the the first. Level one. Okay, so you want those are too bloody expensive. Uh, do you want? How about we go with a long arm rifle or a long arm? I don't know if he's proficient in those. I am. Oh, I'm are. actually like double proficient or something. Yeah, like, I was gonna say. Double proficient. It's not double fr- proficient, but I get an extra. Wait, I think I get an extra bonus if I lo- use a long arm. Something. It was with. I can't remember freaking what it was. How much did you pay for your sniper? Sniper, uh, the it top was, I believe, was seven fifty. Yeah, it's it just the okay because you can get the a, others are flipping like two thousand or four thousand. or something. You can get a laser rifle. Let's see. <laughs> um, you can get a laser rifle. Azimuth is what they call it. Right. Um, it deals one Those game fire pistols. damage. It has a range of one hundred and twenty feet. Ooh, heck yeah. That has significantly better range than the sniper of 70 feet. And okay. that has and a how cost much of sniper it? can be 250. Oh, that's only 425? 425. Dang, I'm going to have like more money than I started with. What the freak? You can also go with a projectile. Like they have a acid dart rifle for 485. I prefer laser probably. Okay. Yeah, you're an Android. Makes sense. Oh, and that also deals uh, 
critical, it deals burn 1d6. Oh, our corona! Yeah, there's... Yeah. Can I pay, like, an, uh, an extra 100 to say, like, I have a scope on that or something? Or an extra 50? I don't think that would um, No. Only because it's already so... Good. So oh, yeah, ranged. that's right. Yeah, also... We're gonna uh, assume it already has a scope on it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. What's I can totally do that. that. I have to change oh, the things. Of one. Gotcha. No, that was the... Oh, well, that's I... the, the ASM one. Oh, you're reading it as yeah, well? Yeah, I'm, I'm it's maybe level looking one. like... Beside your shoulder. Uh, 1d8 fire. Oh, it's only 1d8? What the heck? 1d8 still got a chunk of damage. I mean, your the Sheer and I rifle that you had was, was 1d10, 10. but it's you sniper. have to remember you're gaining, what, you're gaining 50, 50 feet. You're gaining range 50 feet without, feet having, without to having to move. Oh, my. Yeah. Burn. Wait. Wait. On a critical, you add 1d6 burn damage. Yeah. So if you click. What if it's 1d6? Huh? Oh, that's even worse. Wait. No, you get it. Oh, on a critical, I add 1d6. You add a d6. That's what I said, Finn. Jeez, come on. <laughs> Pay attention, dude. Keep up. <laughs> He's just looking at the... He's like, dude, I've done that so many times in the two times we've done this. Like, there should there could be a montage oh, of I never things added my I do crits. silently to the camera at this point. Like, after a stream and... Part of the stream. Uh, Finn, is or uh, K, is there anything you're looking for? Uh, yeah. So I take uh one of the, I take like a few of the pistols to the fire and just fire them off. Okay. Rip it. Should I roll to just see? I do the shank just for the heck of it. For the fun of yeah, it. might as well. Just for the fun of it. I'm not actually. That yeah, you do that shit. while you. Actually, I just roll for stuff. <laughs> Okay. 18 plus 3. So, yeah, so you I shoot well. uh, But I do that for a bit, and then I kind of set, set, put them back, and I go, yeah, I'm going to stick with what I got. Uh, Did you want to pick up any stuff. melee weapons or anything like that, or are you just going to stick with your grab no, I got, I got my sword open, and I, I'm good. Okay, um... It now does some good damage because I got high strength. Yeah, I'm trying to change my Your armor. armor. Right, you passed armor. No, it's right here. The light armor. Oh, that's true. Light armor, yeah. Because that's. What I, well, I was gonna go and see how much. Or no, you want medium armor, don't you? I'm not proficient in medium, and there is no medium. Oh yeah, there's no medium and start mining my bed. Okay. Um, but yeah, those are armor upgrades. Uh, those are things. No, you gotta go up. Armor upgrades. Come out. Man in the system. Man in the system. There, you're a light armor. I'm just saying, I'm digging this music. Heavy armor, here we go. Oh, wait. Whenever you were shooting, what were you shooting? Were you shooting like a. Uh, laser? I shot like lasers and kinetic. I'm, I love the Star Wars thing. That so. sounds like. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's freaking. That's a lightsaber, like. Yo, let's hear that scanner. Okay, f I, I, I'm gonna gain 465, and then... <laughs> I don't have a Starfighter screen! I just want a GM screen. Wait. Hey, donate, uh, what is it, like, six bucks? That's plus one total. No, six is a minus one total. Well, it's five bucks then, isn't it? I don't know. Five is plus one. Whatever you said, too. Okay, um... Or you know. Ooh, Yo, freebooter Arton. armor. Calm the heck down, man. It's plus two, plus three. See, I'm afraid to talk in my normal voice. For Darn it. I can't get the exoskin. You'll fall right now. I'll kill Kay's voice. <laughs> I was hoping I could do exoskin because that makes so much sense for my freaking... It's expensive. It is. It's, it's like a thousand. Yeah. I only have 840. You have 840 credits left? The second skin isn't him? bad, by the way. Wait. Second skin is pretty good. It's got one upgrade yeah. slot, and it's a plus one. Well, I can energy. afford the freebooter armor. That's what I have. You have? Yeah, I got freebooter copy. I got it first. <laughs> second micro cord. I I want to get the carbon See, graphite the, the, skin. See the benefit of the second skin though is you get an upgrade slot and you can put an upgrade in it. 
What do the upgrades do? There's there's a whole upgrade thing. Oh uh, crap! Right down, you can buy okay. upgrades. Okay. Could you look at the light armors, and then I'm gonna see if I want an upgrade. Um, give me a second. I'm trying to find where the heck there it's the armor. They're under. All right, weapons. light armor. What are you looking for? Uh, I was just gonna look at some upgrades there's real quick, armor. but upgrades. I might need to go back to the light armor, so I was gonna have you on that. Infrared sis- sensors, quick release sheath. That wow, would so be, uh... Jump jets? Oh, freaking so much. Yeah, jump jets are expensive. Automated loader? So you got to take a Pencil reload. reinforcement? What's your dex bonus? His, uh, Plus, wait, my dex bonus? My it's base dex bonus four. is a plus four. Okay, so there are four Arms that you that would be able to afford shit. that are lights ar- light armors. Because you gotta remember, some of them might lower your maximum dex score. Yeah. Even and the light armors? Yeah. yeah. The freak. Like mine only lets me. Have like there's one plus here four, is the Kasafa Micro Cord One Armor. It costs 460 credits. Uh, it's level two armor, but it has a max dex bonus of three plus three. Crap. Um, Which so one has the highest dex bonus? The highest dex bonus is the, the Station Wear Flight Suit. But kind of. It wait. It costs 95. Credits. It has no EC or EAC bonus. It gives a plus one to your KAC. What about? It has a max dex bonus of plus six. What about the uh, second skin? I just need plus four. Second skin is two fifty, plus one to EAC, plus two to KAC, plus five maximum bonus. uh, Maximum dex. Is there one that's a little bit better but has a plus four? Uh, There's the yeah. There's the freebooter armor one. I I thought you said plus three. No, 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 that's a, that's a different one. Yeah. Oh, okay, the so they're all covered. Is plus four. Yeah, the freebooter is... you can't put any upgrades in it. Yeah, it's, two, well, it's plus two to uh, energy, plus three to kinetic, plus four max dex bonus, but it costs 750 credits. I feel, I, I don't think I want to try to get one that has upgrades for now, because yeah. we're going to be getting more credits, which means we're going to be leveling up and Enjoy, getting yeah. better armor. So I don't want to put money into armor that I'm not going to keep for a long time. Right. Um, that's why I was suggesting Freebooter, because it's plus two to energy. You were suggesting second skin. I was suggesting second, second skin. Second skin would be good if you wanted to purchase an extra weapon. Yeah. Purchase and an also, I figured you because might Because it gives you... Si- I mean, that's a 500 could do the, credit difference. I could do the grenade launcher. How expensive is that? And you gotta buy grenades for it. That's true. Yes! I could just do yes. grenades. Grenades uh, are actually fairly cheap. They're like no, they're 65 and 45. That that depends on the rank you want to buy them, because the higher ranks deal more damage. Well, well if you want just like a simple frag, it's 45. And then if you want a smoke grenade, it's 65. I was looking at those. Um, smoke grenade. I really need to just take a bunch of screenshots. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's what I... I took a bunch of pictures on my phone, but I only took pictures of the stuff I thought I was actually going to have, so... <laughs> um, freak. That is such a difference. You guys enjoying the stream? Sorry, shopping episodes <laughs> suck. Yeah, we know. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm it's just gonna go with the freebooter armor. armor. I'm just gonna go f- with the freebooter armor. Okay. Yeah. So, oh crap, that stays the same. Just remember to uh, four, four. Freebooter armor. Hey, you no longer have seven fifty. Yeah, yeah, 750 for the free barrel. You no longer have a minus to those skills. Yeah. So now I have 90 credits. Jeez. Our bonus plus one. Oh, wait, no, plus two EAC. Plus three KAC. Freaking yeah! Okay, let's kill some crap. Sorry, I'm literally in the middle of. But. Can you not? It's like I could. But I also couldn't. No, he can't not not. Wait. No, he can't not. There you go. That's the thing. Alright. Are you good? Yes. Alright. So you finish... Um, you finish all of your... What's the twos it's? Getting all your stuff, you get you get some practice into the range. So you made it quick. Yeah, it's it might be because I'm recording. 
Stream cutting in and out, might be Twitch. Last three hour stream was okay, no complaining, just sharing feedback. Um, you're recording, right? Yeah, he's recording. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop. Good. Cause that might be an issue with it. Mm. Hey, look, it's right. us. We're on the screen. Alright, so Larry, can you like just stop, buddy? I love you, but can you just stop? Okay, so <laughs> see, so you, you spend I was doing this first. So you spend a couple of hours <laughs> You spend a couple of hours getting acquainted with your new weaponry, with your new armor. Um, you know, they have training facilities and everything like that. So they're like, uh, kid. Your, uh, your fly's down. My fly? <laughs> I don't own one of those. An insectoid? A zipper. Zipper? Which one? I look at all of my armor. <laughs> What is so this? you return to, uh, you return to your dormitories. Try to make a fun moment. And, and similar it's... thing to the, um, similar thing to the, the 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 dining hall. Like the frills have kind of been taken away. You can tell that they're not really. Sure, sure. They're they're not really hiding the fact that oh you know oh you just want a vacation no, you know you're being taken for a very serious reason. Right. Um. And you, as you're approaching, you notice that um, two guards are already leading another group of individuals the same way you just came from. Um, that way, you know, and you can probably assume that there's maybe more than just that armory. Sure, um, sure. So they're probably, like, they're spreading them out, getting everyone acquainted with new weaponry and getting them outfitted yeah. for a proper fight. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I turn to kid and I go... You know, we haven't seen much of the ship as a whole. You want to kind of look around? Yes, but I I do have kind of an internal scan. I, I kind of know generally how the, the ship looks. I've seen many ships like this. Has he seen many ships like this? Not to this grandeur, but I've seen ships in general, and I can logically guess the layout of the ship based on previous blueprints that I have downloaded. Sorry, I'm asking I'm asking a um, right now. <laughs> Cause like if if he's never left Give me a culture room, check. Like, go. Oh you're bad at those. Aren't you? Um, Doesn't he get like a minus to those? No, I or have that just No, mode? my culture is good. It's intelligence based. No, it's, it's uh, just sense motive. It's sense motive. It's sense, he gets bad sense motive, or minus two to sense motive on But others. people get minus two. Um, so that's a 13. I mean, yeah, for the most part, like, of the pack world ships, like, any ship that's, like, mainstream within the pack worlds, you're pretty familiar with at least the basic layout of them. Like, if any ship has specific modifications to it, um... It might be a little more difficult for you to go through, but for the most part, um, yeah, you know, like he knows the basic layout of the ship. I can make sure you don't get lost. I can give you a general tour. All right. Also, let's go somewhere interesting then. Also, oh, I think I know a place. Also, it might be cool. good of us to to acquire information about why these specific people were picked for this trip. Bless you. Because the way we were selected didn't seem by chance. It seemed that we were hand selected. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what the lady told us. I know, but I would like to know for which reason which reasons. Well, well let's let's do it like this. One thing I learned about gathering information. You find them on the way. So we go around. We see uh, her or, you know, the captain of the ship. Then we ask her. Fair enough. I prefer downloading information, though. Sometimes you can get more out of people than you can out of a machine. Hmm. We'll work on it. Alright. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. He said he'd take... 
some some cool. Do I, know any, they were not, do I know any interesting places or perceived by an android interesting places? Um, roll me a d six. Six. Okay. You. T- so, yeah, this is a place that's definitely something that only androids and, like, super tech, like, technomancers would find interesting. Um, you're not a technomancer, right? The engine room? Nope. No, uh, okay. Was I wasn't, character. I couldn't remember. That was not the character. engine room. That was my character that I scrapped for the, the point of playing a, uh, so that's his backup character. character for whenever his character, this character dies. Which uh, is Correction, K was going to be the backup <laughs> character. Locke was going to be the original character. Locke and K? Well, that that was the point of why I did key or K spelled like key was because. Um, anyway, <sighs> so you take him to. You so kind of have to. Oh, him. both of you actually, give me. Um, diplomacy. No, not diplomacy. <laughs> Intimidation. No, give me stealth check. Stealth <laughs> sweat charisma. What? Where are you taking me? Ooh, that's pretty good. Eighteen. Fourteen. I'm stealthier I'm than the rogue. I'm, um, I'm more interested in in giving you a tour. So, as you, you can you, see, to the right are terminals. No, so, um, <laughs> you know, it takes you, you have to kind of take a long Not way around, cool. but this um, is you are eventually able, he eventually leads you down some, like, darker corridors, mm-hmm. um, more like maybe service corridors than, like, main traveling corridors. Yeah, this tower tear. Um... Kind of, yeah. What? No. Because they um, you ride a service elevator on that ride. What do you mean? What is the tower? Oh my god, he's in character. Larry, can you come lay down, please? Come here. Come here. You can do it, Larry. He can only go forward, I swear. <laughs> Back up. There is no retreating. <laughs> Pull him that way. Like, Grab snap him. him. Oh, you just gonna sit down? Okay, okay right. if he wants Turn. to stay there, that's fine. Okay. Just as long as he's laying down. There you go. Um, stay. <laughs> Immediately. As long as he's laying down, jumps up. Stay. Anyways, we're sneaking around. So, he, well, Stay-play. you're not really sneaking, sneaking. It's just he kind of figures that where he wants to take you probably isn't going to be an area that they just let you walk in on. Oh, goody. So, after, it takes you like an extra 10, 15 minutes. Um, but you, he eventually brings you to just this very bland door, um, and it opens, and all you see is just the main server room for the ship. Just walls and aisles of computers, just floor to ceiling, wires everywhere, bright lights, like, this you, is the main hub for all the tech on the ship. As you said, we should find information along the way. And so I will download information from the main main computer. This is give me a computer check. This isn't what I meant, but yeah. eleven plus twelve, so that's gonna be a twenty-three. Okay, yeah. So you're able to pretty quickly. <laughs> I just download every single bit scale. of information. Not quite, but yeah. Like there's yeah, you, you download. Well, yeah, no. You pretty much download all that your memory can, like your internal memory can handle at the time. Um. <laughs> And you notice that a couple of the files that you downloaded are classified, classified, and like heavily encrypted, well beyond what your systems can handle. Hmm. There's some very sketchy, if you will, information in here. Very encrypted. Very really, secret. Really, let me let me see. Is there like a monitor? Or is he just? There's no monitors in the room. Crap. Um, yeah, no, you have to find an external... Can I do a flavor thing with my character? What? My eyes are white. Can I you use them as project projectors? The, yeah, I was thinking something Freak like yeah! that. Freak <laughs> yeah! I was thinking something like that. Here. Uh, give, me a comp- give me another computer check, and you give me a perception check. Perception. Okay, maybe I should try rolling inside uh, my freaking... Good. That would help. 24. I'm rolling really good tonight. That's Not as great, but I'm very squishy huh? with this. No, 17. It's no, the DM curse. <laughs> combat, you roll like trash. Not for me! 
For no, being combat's because, amazing. Because you're you're not the always DM. <laughs> no, it's just because my dice know when they need to roll well. Um, okay, so you uh, so Kib, you you're able to you know your your eyes produce a pretty clear image. It's not crystal clear, but a pretty good image of basically what you're seeing as though it's a computer screen and you're able to uh, okay you're able to read it perfectly mm-hmm. um, so like you're like even if it's a little fuzzy you can kind of guess what it's saying um, and you just you can see like you know he, he has the basic like he has the ship logs of like where the ship has gone last um, you and can anywhere see anywhere that scans out to me that not particularly okay. Um, it's just, it, you can tell, like, this is used for sure, official sure. business kind of stuff. Yeah. What it's being used for now, like, bringing people to the Absalom station right. in preparation for whatever's happening. Sure. Uh, what about the encrypted things to it? Does he show me that at all? Like, I mean, he shows it to you, but it's it's can well I, beyond. Well beyond even my understanding. Yeah. Really, okay. it, it, like, it is, this is stuff that, like, the capital, uh, like the main Absalom station engineers have oh, okay. specifically okay. engineered for only their eyes, mm-hmm. it seems like. It, it's encryption that you've never seen, sure, uh, and it sure. would take you a long time to, to crack it. Right, right. Yeah. Apparently he can squeeze through the couch. Hmm. He's like, you removed the table, finally. And I guess some information does have to be found along the way. Like I said, sometimes you get more out of people than you do a machine. I doubt if they're encrypting it this much, they're going to tell you any bit of it. It's, it's called being nice. Sometimes nice. it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll just have to see. You hear that noise, and it's kind of the alarm, like saying, hey, it's time for dinner. Okay. Um, I was like, alarm. Oh, Here crap. <laughs> um, so, Don't worry, I'm somehow better at stealth than the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to, uh, you just, you go back to the mess hall. Dinner looks a little bit different now. Um, instead of the one giant table stretching through the middle of the hall, um, it's, it's a lot of smaller tables uh, with four seats per table. Um, just set up around the room. It seems we're acquiring our teams. I wouldn't call us teams so much as fire squad fellows. Fellows. As you enter the as you enter the dining hall, um, you see the captain. You know, like the the band is on the stage. They're still playing. Like what? Like it, it's not as upbeat and beautiful stuff. Like it's a little more just grungy. Kind of like what you would imagine a band could be in like a deployment. Hack um, the band to make that. Oh crap! I'm not that character. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to make a computer check, you also have to make a stealth check. No, to I, was caught. I was making a joke, but I'm not playing that. Um, Larry, lay down. Be a good boy. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, you're. Um. Like, the captain is in there, and she's just kind of making... She's making it clear, you know, you're not... Like, you can still sit wherever you want. We're just rearranging the room, getting you prepped for, you know, what's to come. Sure. Uh, do I see the uh, the other humans? So I see Vlad and the other two. Oh, my God. I forgot about Vlad. How did you forget about Vlad? I don't was, like, know. your favorite. I see. No. Um, yeah. Vlad! I mean, <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Let me just barf all these. Ta-da. A hey, eighteen. Um, you can't quite catch all of them in the crowd. Sure. Um, but yeah, like you can. It's very hard to miss Vlad. I mean, sure. dude is just going super. I was, I was really just trying to see if they were like congregating together. Uh, I mean, pretty much everyone, like, pretty much everyone is in the middle. No, I mean, like, the humans are... No, they're all, like, everyone's really well mingled. Sure, sure, sure. Um, You can tell that while you two have been going off and doing your own thing, everyone else is pretty much melded together into one cohesive 
group of people. Sure. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you have your individual races, but everyone's pretty much in one giant club. Sure, sure. Okay, throughout the meal, I'm just going to go to different tables and talk to people and say, what are your qualifications for this mission? Oh, gosh. Every, um... Here give we me go. a diplomacy check. Here we go. The thing Tristan... Oh, and I get a bonus! <laughs> oh, against you? What if it did? What? When did it stop? It cut recording. I don't know why. Freeze. I don't know when. But. That's in bold. I'll have the mod. It's fine. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know, you're, you're standing there. You're trying to reason with this guard. Like, we have helped save the ship before. Let us okay. continue. And um, it kind of takes him a second. He's like, fine. Don't make any sudden noise or any movements or loud noises. Uh, I don't want to get fired. Uh, and he just kind of, like, slinks past you to where you're outside of the circle. Um, so, like, the guards are, like, kind of pushing everyone out. Come and on, just kind of, like... I do, uh, like... It's, like, the side look where it's, like... <laughs> it's, like, yeah, cool. And, and I, like, grab him and kind of push him, slowly push him to the side of the room so that we're away from where the guards were. Well, I, I keep in mind, all the guards are now, like, converging, basically, to push yeah. everyone out. So, like, you are behind the guards, there's no one else. Like, it's, okay, the gotcha. guards are making a circle. Are, is the captain still there? Yes. Okay, I, I go to approach the captain. Like, I'm not gonna run, but I'm gonna approach the captain. Okay. Yeah. Hey, captain. Oh, it's you two again. Deal? We so, are here to deal? aid you. Unfortunately, there's not much that can be done. Uh, we can defend the barracks if you like. Don't think that's the problem at the moment. I could be wrong, but do you remember where the armory is? Yes. Has there been an accident? Not an accident, um, but if you two can head near there, um, make sure those doors are locked and make sure no one can get in. That would be a great deal of stress off my mind. Nobody can get in or out. Or out. There shouldn't be anyone in there. I was just sneakily trying to figure out if there was anybody in there. I don't know I mean, how I mean, it was. There might have been a straggler that escaped past the guards similar to you two, and she shoots you an evil look. Like, not evil look, but like an angry look. Um, but It was our fault, not your guards. Don't worry about them. Oh, no, she's, she's aware. <laughs> um, but she, uh, she says, like, there Wait, might have been someone who slipped... Lie. Past your past my guards, hmm. um, or maybe I'll give it a check guards. before we shut it up. That sounds fine. Just again, make sure no one can get in. Um, I don't quite know what's coming up. Is there only one access point? Uh, yes, just okay. that one. And uh, what could potentially be coming up? Is it the same creature we fought already? She doesn't say anything else. She just turns and leaves. And her va her face is visually... Bef that she is now... It's showing she's stressed. Before yeah. she leaves. Does it have to do with the classified files I found on, t on your computer? She stops. <laughs> I go... I go... What? Tracks. <laughs> I just go... What? She's I assure you I would not try to decrypt anything she that is encrypted. Up. She snaps her fingers and immediately... Two very large, dark figures. You cannot figure out what race they are. You mean my bluff can go through? What bluff? I, sa I said, like, what? Like, you did what? No. <laughs> you are the worst GM. Because <laughs> um, she, knows, she knows androids. She knows that androids have a difficulty in, in lying. Like, they tend to... I know. To, so she yeah. is pretty much taking him at face value and saying, Oh, you know about encrypted files, huh? So, uh, but these, so these two large, like, you just see large shadows come over you. And then your vision just goes dark. You don't pass out or anything. Like, you can still hear, you can still smell. Oh, you can't. But, like, you still have all your other senses and you're still conscious. You just can't see. Basically, like, your sight, like, your eyes were basically turned off. 
Um, How are we supposed to guard the barracks or the the armory when we get <laughs> Now you've been muted. You can't talk. I just go. <laughs> Um, I don't even know what's you, going on. And why why is it? I always get this stuff happens. And and you're you're led down some cool, like you're just you're led around the ship um, by these two figures that you can assume like basically blinded you, like put a, a, a bag over your head. Um, and then whenever you can you go lay down. Oh, you're get you're mad. That's why. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Larry, bed. It's midnight. He's not happy that we're still awake. Um, he, he's an old man. If it gets past a certain time, he's like, I'm done. I want to go to bed. Um, so you, so whenever you're, whenever the bags are removed from your, the shrouds, I guess is the word I'm looking for, whenever they're removed from your heads, um, you're in, you feel like you're more at the bridge, um, like the bridge of the ship, but you're not on the bridge. You're kind of just outside it. You see a very large, kind of ornamental door. What the crap? It's got droid beeps and whistles. Where do you see it? There we uh, go. Second dial. Thank you, because that droid is so freaking loud. Um, so you're like you're able to kind of figure out like you're close to, like you're you're close to the bridge at least, um, and the captain is standing right there. Uh, give me a perception check, both of you. That's count. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-two. Uh, twenty-five. Oof. Eighteen plus seven. You get a. You don't see anything. You get a quick glimpse sure. of whatever blinded you. Yeah. What do they look like? All you know. Oh, this is a very large, Bug. dark creature that stands at us of a tall. That doesn't tell me anything after what you already told me. <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell, like, <laughs> you can, like, it's a leaner figure. Sure. So it's large in the sense of, like, keep in mind, you got a quick look, but it's large in the sense of height. It's not, like, a big, burly, like, sure. ogre-looking thing, like... It's just, it's a very tall, lean figure. Oh my gosh, it's an elf. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, the captain is sit, is standing in front of you, and she just, uh, she just, she's just plainly looking at both of you. And she, she's now glaring at you, and she just says, you will tell me what encrypted files you know of. I will display them for you. I have not decrypted or looked at any of those these files, or not even tried. I simply was trying to look for the logs on the computer to to look at the layout of the ship to help give my friend a tour here, my companion rather. Um, and well, that was almost nice. <laughs> and I was also on a honestly trying to access information about why you picked the uh, crew members that you picked. Uh, give me a diplomacy check. Oh, man. Can, wait, do I, did I have to add that to the first, the plus one to the first one? You already used it. Yeah, you already used the plus one. It was already a natural one. one. But I already had a plus, I, I didn't use it though, because I, I actually forgot to add it. It well, it would have been, been a six anyway. Huh? It would have been a six for that roll anyway. Because that was the one you rolled a five, and you were like, I'm going to add the plus one. And so, oh, that's right, yeah. So, yeah, okay, it right. wouldn't change anything. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, Fifteen. Fifteen, holy crap, and in your own world. I can assure you I am not lying. She just looks at you and says, show me the five. And so, if you, yeah, you blink and uh, the files appear. And then all of a sudden you feel something kind of in the back of your head. It kind of feels like a, a, a probe was attached. I could have erased those it. myself. She I doesn't see. care. Can I see the probing? Yeah, I mean, it's just a guard. It's just a regular guard. And he just so they removed, they removed my cowl then? Huh? 
Huh? They yeah, moved they, by how it's been. Yes. Okay. Um, and, um, and like, like you can see on the screen, the encrypted files are permanently deleted. Like, there's no trace at all. Um, and your memory of those files is gone. Like, basically, as soon as they re- remove the probe from the back of your head, um, it's as though you didn't know those things existed in the slightest. Every other file you still have access to, you can still... So do I remember that we came here? Yes, you still remember all that. You just don't remember asking about the files. You don't remember downloading those files. You don't remember anything about the files. You, the you do remember getting, co- like getting your head covered. And being Why are we the here? Bridge. There's no reason for that. You were simply lost. Isn't that correct, Kay? I remember being taken, though. Roll a will save. A will save? I'm good at these. I hope so. Oh, I'm very good at these. Natural 20 plus 4. Hot dang. You can suck my mind powers! You may answer however you wish. Cool. You are not affected by whatever trickery she was attempting to. I don't say anything. Very well. These guards will escort you back to your dorms. Please stay there. I thought you wanted us to help guard the armory. Not anymore. And what has changed? Things. I think you screwed up, basically, is what she's saying. How did I screw up? Don't ask me. Because I don't know. What does that mean? She just turns, <laughs> open the door opens, and for a brief second you just see a flurry of people running around in the bridge and then the doors <laughs> and then the little bar that's upright, it just turns and it, the door like you hear four titanium bars locking in place. That bridge is shut. How are we to return to our dorms if we're locked? You're outside the bridge. Oh, okay. Outside. outside. That makes sense. I was about to say. Yeah, she just entered the bridge, and you are out. You're just outside the bridge. She seemed a little angry. Yeah, well, you know. It's just how you talk. Okay. Because they're a guard for them still, right? Yeah. And they, so they start to kind of, like, they can't come oh, up behind yeah, you since they... Okay, so you have to start with yeah. it? And they're just, like, they're not pushing you. They're not, like, holding your arms or anything like that. Like, they're just walking behind you. Okay. Right. And if you try to make any, if you try to turn the wrong way, they're like, hey, sure. over here. Sure. Right. Are we under attack? Private? There's no response. Is his communicator broken? <laughs> we hear you. Oh. I'm pretty sure they can hear you, yeah. He must wish to not respond, then. I think you're getting the hang of it, yeah. Something like that. Mm-hmm. You call it something like that at the very least. Uh, I think we should probably patrol the barracks. Hey, I got a question for you. Uh, Private, what is it? I don't know your name. I'm sorry. Um, were there more of those uh, fish from... Just keep walking. It's, it's a simple question. Were there more for me yesterday? Just keep walking. You really can't ask questions in space, can you? That reminds me of a song I heard once. Just keep walking. walking. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah, walking. But you won't look down that wall. Keep walking. Oh, but she <laughs> isn't gonna fall. Hey, it's plain to see. Your but copyright is here, small. so don't oh, no, see. It's, no, it's, we, yeah, we won't get on the CIA on Ninja Tales. All right. Ninja Tales won't, won't sue us. We're yeah. also not that good. <laughs> We've gone down in the last years. Anyway, uh, all of a sudden... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Pepe. No, Nico uh, is very familiar with the Tales. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, we've had Tales sing-alongs before. Oh, uh, it's quite fun. Oh, no, I don't know that. Oh, wait, um, are the Pepe supposed to be the, the peas that were guarding the wall? <laughs> no, it's freaking stable. All of a sudden, you hear this loud... <clears throat> and the whole ship, like, you feel the ship kind of sure. rock... Which, 
again, like you know the basic blueprint of the ship. You know how big this ship well, is. Well, now I have the exact bl- blueprint probably because I. I that's what. I, the oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you know exactly how big the ship is, and so for it to kind of lurch, uh, even a little bit, you know that was a sizable yeah. impact. I look here. We go. Yeah, yeah I, I look at you, and. You can almost see a hint of emotion as... as By the I, way, the guards I, that were following you are yeah, gone. They're gone. As they're I gone. give you a grim look, I'm like, we don't have an escort. No, we don't. Armory? I think that's a good place to start. And I lean solar, uh, the blue cool thing, as it were, uh, floating around me, floats to my hand, and <laughs> the blade whip appears in my hand. Uh, I'm like, let's go. Could I, based off of the size of the impact, could I give a general, could I guesstimate how, uh, where the impact hit the ship? Yeah. Engineering. Um, engineering. Engineering. Yeah, give me an engineering check. Dude, I got the DM brain. It is a curse. 17... Plus, um, oh, yeah, twelve is gonna be <laughs> twenty nine. Freaking mechanic. Does, does that? <laughs> yeah, it, it's by the armory. Like it, it's right it's by there. It's by the armory. Mm-hmm. Impact point is at the well near the armory. Let's do that. Like, Here we go. Lead the way. We could get in trouble. It's I for mean, the protection of our. It's for the allies of everybody. I think they can let it slide. Like they did last time. Well, we didn't do anything wrong last time. We got stuff before we could even get there. I'm already walking, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I would, I, in fact, I would probably be jogging. Yeah, we're running at this point. Oh, yeah, running, because I don't get tired, and I don't have to breathe, so I can just talk And, normal. I mean, I'm fit enough to run, so... <laughs> okay, so as you, as you get closer to the armory... <laughs> Um, you kind of see some smoke. Like, you see the door, and there is a massive hole <clears throat> missing from the middle of the door. Like, it's just... There's a hole in the door. And there's smoke billowing out. I'm gonna stealth. Okay. <laughs> Give me a stealth check. So I know how... Uh, or how stealth. 16 can I, can I plus... See, I'm like... Start, I do it as well. Just you want to start stealth? Okay. Well, uh, I got a 27. 27, give me a perception check. Do you first. notice me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do I you notice, notice him? Like, like, start. I, I, would have, I would have given yeah. it. I would have given him a... Okay, yeah, yeah go ahead and start. Right. Like, a, like a, as, like, as we slow down and uh, see the smoke, kind of give him a that, nod. That's a 15. Okay, so 15 and 27, you said? Yeah. Look, the operator's finally Dude, taking his seven. spot. <laughs> right. The freaking operator. Well, that's because last time I rolled a 3. Yeah, I know. This okay. time I rolled a freaking... What is it? 16? <laughs> okay, so... So as you get closer, like, you're both stealthing. Um, obviously, you a little better than K. <laughs> um, and... Like, as as I'm stealthing, like, my cape, because it's gray, it almost, like, perfectly blends in with the smoke, and I just basically disappear. <laughs> <laughs> you got these I'm two just... white eyes just peeking out of the smoke. Yeah, every now and then. It's, it's like in cartoons where it's completely pitch back on, you see the eyes. <laughs> but I, I tried to, I dim it, though, to make it not so noticeable. Um, so all of a sudden, uh, like, you, so you're, you're both stealthing, kid better than K, and in the smoke, me, you start to it's see, okay. give, give me K. Uh, in the smoke, you just start, you see it get darker. As you see this figure, Emerge from the smoke. Roll initiative. What is the, um? Round. Really quick, can uh, I? Be, stealth round still. Just roll it. Um. Before before that, can can I try to identify what this creature is? Uh, sure. Give me a perception check. So that's um, seventeen. That's gonna be a uh, twenty-three. Uh, thirteen. Do you want to try and see what it is? I guess so. Uh, I already rolled initiative. Oh, is there like... Keep that roll for yeah, keep that roll in mind. It is 23 for initiative. Wait. Okay, just keep it in mind. Keep it in mind for a second. 
that's 17 plus okay, yes, 24. Yeah. It's the exact same thing you just fought the day before. Uh, and I was incorrect. That is not a worker. I was gonna say with a plus. Thank the it, Lord. It, that is a it is a Formian warrior. warrior. That makes more sense with a plus eleven of freaking tax. It literally the, the cannot worker, miss me. The worker is a one third CR. This is a CR three. Oh freaking heck! Player knowledge, not character. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you roll that, a twenty three. Twenty three for initiative. Um, what'd you roll for initiative? Oh, I forgot to. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's get those Holy crap! Players. I rolled an eight. <laughs> well, I rolled a three, but I got an eight. Right. Oh my god, I rolled a three too. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a five. <laughs> so it's uh, it's gonna be K first. K's first. Dang, this is a twi- this is, is the second this, uh, time we've rolled three. Player knowledge is this a surprise round? So I think there's not players. for you. Not for me. He saw you. Yeah. You, you will get a surprise what the round. Fudge you can't. roll on perception. 21? Holy shnikes. Uh, he's pretty good at seeing. Alright, well, you go first. Uh, so, you, you, you are stealthed, and he does not know where you are at. So you have a, you have a, an extra... You can deal damage first. So, because they're, the hallway is all full of smoke, I'm going to... Well, okay, whenever I say the hallway is filled with smoke, I mean, like, it's, it's kind of floating at the top. Like, ventilators are trying to get the smoke out. And they're doing a decent job at it, but like if the hallways are like ten foot tall, um, like the top foot is covered oh, in smoke. Okay. Um, so basically, there's none down where we are. No, basically you're able to just find like little crevices along the sides, and like being an android, you're kind of climbing along the top to stay out of sight. Okay. Can I pop out? To do two pop shots and then go back to stealth and like hey good night Nico oh yeah have a good night thank you good for night, watching good night Nico have a great night thank yeah. you for stopping by see you dude hey we don't have to just say <laughs> oh no that was on purpose <laughs> hey we um, don't have to just say we don't have to just say thank you for listening now we can say yeah. thank you for watching yeah yeah that's why I like the stream yeah. there we go <laughs> um, we just give, wanted to have like a so you want to basically okay. pop out shoot and then go back to stealth yeah. Give me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? I'm good at that. I hope I'm good at that. I'm good we'll see at everyone. Yes, I'm good at that. I got a 25. Okay, yeah, no problems at all. You kind of like... So basically, like you're like up in the top rafters for a moment, just under the smoke. You kind of drop down. You f- like you'll be able to fire. Uh, like You will be able to take a shot whenever you hit the ground and then immediately jump back up and be hidden again. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you are able to do that. So All right. I'm gonna hop down, take two pot shots. Oof. First one's gonna be a nine to hit. Uh, definitely no. Second one is going to be a twenty-four to hit. Yep. That that'll do it. Okay. Wow. The double shot. Wait, attack bonus. That's just a, that's the attack, not the not the. Oh, wait, did I hit that? You. Uh, so the attack bonus is just gonna be on the attack. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. <sighs> crap. One damage. One. Yeah. Plus your. Uh, oh no. Crap. Yeah. Plus that's what? Right. No. Never mind. Guns are different. All right. Oh yeah, because you're thinking about guns are different. Yeah. All right, uh, so that is the surprise round. That was a crappy freaking surprise round. Yeah. But you got one it was point cool of though. Damage. Cool. It was right. cool though. So it was like it was uh, like a. I just for fun. Yeah. It was a classy I surprise round, you know. It was so classy. All right. As 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 I t- jump down, take my pop shot. Pop shot. I look over at you, wink, and jump back up. <laughs> I just got. Oh, <laughs> um, fancy. Uh, how close is this thing? Oh, actually, uh, first things first, on my turn, I go into photon stance. Okay. So there's a bright blue light starting to emanate from me. Um, uh, but how close is this thing to me? Um, 
You're you're about thirty feet away from it right now. Thirty feet away from it. It kind of emerged right as you were getting within your your full movement range. Right. In that case, uh, I'm gonna rush towards it and begin with a melee attack with my whip, my swoop of swords. How close are you getting? I gotta be in melee range. Okay. So you're getting your full thirty foot. Yeah. It's it's a melee weapon. Uh, let's see. That was a journey in half. That's gonna be. Um, is this an energy or kinetic? It's kinetic. It's a miss. You're freaking nuts, dude. Like, absolutely. Oh, wait. No, sorry. I had an extra one. That's a 20 to hit. Now look. Because I'm in photon stance. I gotta remember that. That is a hit. Photon stance gives me an extra plus one to uh, all the things. So damage. that's gonna be... Uh, plus another is 14 points of slashing oh damage. Dude, freaking Solarian with max strength is nutty. And Photon says, uh, and I guess second attack because of Cleave. Because that's a fun thing. Uh, that's going to be, what is that, 18 plus a lot of numbers. <laughs> 18 plus 7 is what, uh, 25 to hit? Cool, let's roll some more damage. Oh, that's not as good. That's going to be 9 points of slashing damage. As I come in and just let the whip go around me with the first strike and then bring it back around kind of upper uh, like up towards the right shoulder with the second strike there okay um, so yeah it like you you just get two solid hits on it uh, and it, it's looking like already you can tell you've done some pretty good damage to this thing um, like you hit it and each strike <laughs> Just writhing in pain. So you get your ugly bug. <laughs> uh, Kim. Um. Oh wait, did it not fail? It's no, after your first. Oh right, because I got a surprise on. Holy freak! I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you got a surprise on. Then I'm first. Okay. Can I sneak to behind him, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hop down, pop shot, hop back up. Um, you won't be able to get behind him. The okay. door, the hole in the door is basically just enough for him. Okay, I didn't know he was. Are we? He's right still outside, outside still, right? You're out. You are outside the armory. He's like just barely blocking the door. Okay. okay. Cool. Um. Cool. So like roll for acrobatics door, first. He's like right, right here. Right, yeah, okay. Cool. That's what I thought. Roll for ac acrobatics first. Yes. Roll for acrobatics if you're no. wanting to stay stealth. No stealth. Okay. They're stealth. Huh? Skill. Stealth is skill. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's a 20 for acrobat. Okay. I'm, well, I'm trying to hop down, oh, take right. a shot, that's, that's, stealth. that's why I'm having him... you're flipping weird crawl on the scene on Mr. Right. Spider Droid over here. And that's why I'm having him do acrobatics right, right. stealth. Yeah, no, I got That's you. a 20? Yeah. Yeah, you're still able to do that. Okay. Um, taking two shots. What the freak is up with the first one? Always sucking. That's, that's a freaking 7 to hit. And a natural 20 plus 4 to hit. There we go. That's a crit. That Are is you a crit. Using your pistol or your rifle? My pistol. Okay. My pistols. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's max. It's max damage. How much? I need to know how Eight. much. Four. Four plus four. Oh, it's, it's not one d four. Yeah, my four. pistols are only one d four. Pistols don't do that much damage. I will get them. I will get better ones eventually. Okay. And it is fire damage, just, I don't know if that changed anything, but it didn't last time. But. I don't think okay. these guys have um, any now resistance is Now, give me another stealth check. 18 plus 11 is 20, or, yeah, yeah, 29. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're still, you're still hitting. Um, okay, so yeah, you drop, you just kind of like, like a monkey almost, like a graceful ape, you just kind of drop down, you pull out... You miss your first shot because you kind of rushed it. Second shot, boom, center mass. Like, dude just kind of, like, stumbles for a second and just lets out this horrible hiss again. And then before he's able to look back up and see you, you're just, you're gone again. It is now his... I think I'm starting to piss him off. Little Come bit. on! <laughs> um, I've gotten ahead from you, one of you ugly guys, once. I can take some more. See, yeah, he's looking right at you because you're the only thing he sees right yeah. now. And he's just like, he's gonna come in with you. I just think to myself, I don't think 
think he speaks our language. <laughs> He's just gonna come right in at you with his claw. Yep. <laughs> That's a 25 to hit. No, that misses. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it does I know it not. does not. I've got nothing for armor, dude. This is oh, why you like, can't uh, have plus yeah. 11 to hit, man. I got no armor. <laughs> That is, oh, you got lucky. That's eight points of damage. Dude, that's so many freaking points of damage. Yes, but that was a one on the die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Work on your balancing. <laughs> it's two of you against one. He is like, this That's dude. half my stamina points okay, with a one. But you have to understand, this is the first time he's been able to attack, and he's looking bad. Oh, I didn't realize. He's that. looking super bad right that's now. That's Alright, and then, so he got you with the claw, and I mean, it just kind of like, digs right into your shoulder, sure. and then he just rips it back out, and then he's going to come at you with a stinger. This guy really has got multi-attack, like... Um, yeah, like, like last time. Such bullcrap. That man. is a 16 hit. 16 hits. Ooh, I clearly got no flipping armor. Don't worry, this is 1d4. Yeah, plus like 7, right? Okay, so it's only yeah plus seven. Remember, so that's another eight yeah, points of damage. that's literally all my stamina <laughs> in one round. You want to talk about dealing all this damage? That's two of us. Uh, no, this I is one. I need you to make. Yeah, it's a fourteen save. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm just last thing that's gonna be numbers. That's a sixteen. Uh, hold on, I lost it for some reason. Um, just pulling out one skin. He did it? more damage than we did. False, sir. 16. False. 16 points of damage. Yeah. No. What? You mean? It's 16 points of damage. Okay. In one turn. You definitely did more. The, between the two of you, you've definitely done more damage. I'm looking at his health. You've definitely done more Wait, damage. That's if we hit with 20 armor. He's done 16 points of damage to me. That's all my stamina. Oh, um, you, by the you, way, I don't know how this happened, but somehow I have more armor than I did last time because I somehow screwed this. up my armor. So I actually didn't... My accident... My your accident, dex. Your dex got taken down last time because you weren't getting close. I wasn't putting that in. I wasn't adding that, though, because I didn't know about the armor thing. What did you roll as your fortitude save? A 16. Okay, yeah, you saved. So you don't take any... You don't get poisoned. Yeah. Um, but you do get severe, like, you just get a good stab in the gut. Right. Literally, what the fuck? And then it gets pulled out, and he just roars in your face. How did I screw that up so bad? Because I literally have a 16 and a 17 versus a 15 and a 17. Top of the order, it is your turn again. (laughs) Right. Uh, Okay. The light around me gets brighter as I stick with photon stance, and I go for another attack with my sword weapon. That's going to be a, uh... Oh, wait, can I faint first? Yeah. Improve faint. Wait, did you roll already? Yeah, I'll use that roll for uh, that's gonna be. It has to make a. Oh no, it's a DC. What's its rating? Is it three? Correct. You said it was a CR rating three. Yes. Cool. So I succeed because I got a seventeen, okay. and it's ten plus their CR rating. Oh. So he is considered flat-footed for my attack, which is not gonna need it anyway because it's a sixteen plus seven. Which is flipping twenty three. What yeah, what does the effect flat footed actually do? Because takes away your dex. Takes mod. away your dex mod. That's what so, I. That's what I was assuming. Yeah, so within right. Pathfinder and Starfinder, your dexterity or your AC is not based on your armor alone. It is a base of ten, plus your dex mod, and then whatever the bonus is from your armor. Mm-hmm. So Until I'm pretty sure I'm and, pretty sure your your armor that you got is a plus two to EAC and a plus three, three to KAC. Uh, yeah. So it's 10 plus your dex mod plus then that 2 or 3 depending on what class it's in. Okay. So well, yeah. if, like for example, if you are if you were flat-footed, what's your dex mod? Well, my dex mod is 4. Yeah. Okay. So, so if I'd you were caught that. flat-footed, you would only have the 10 plus the 2 or 3. You yeah. would not get that plus 4. Yeah. Yes. So flat-footed can Dude, be really... he's got a 17 in kinetic armor. Yeah. That's nuts. So flat-footed can do really well... Like it, it can it can do really well to like hurt an opponent if they have a really high dex mod, but if it's like if it's someone who doesn't it doesn't matter if they're if they yeah, have a dex at all minus one that's, uh, exactly. that's twelve points of slashing damage from the sword. That's freak, dude. So dude, I'm strong. So your sword, like it's you just kind of like 
It, it's a whip. It's a blade whip. You just said it was a sword. Yeah, it's a blade whip. You, you, you just called it a sword. I, no, it's a solar weapon. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying you just called it a sword. Yeah, I said so, my solar weapon. Oh, I heard sword. Sorry. It's a sword. Anyway. It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. So, like, it's kind of like it. going all, like, it's just kind of like going around yeah, you. It's just, and the head, like, you just hear it go, Foom! and then the head just slowly slides and and make a reflex save on me. What? I'm good. I'm up in the rafters, bro. That's, what is my reflex? That's bad as 15. No, you're good. Okay, sweet. Um, it is... Because <laughs> I only get a plus one. You, you notice that its body is lurching, and you are able to... Dude, Jump back. every time I kill something, Bobby is like, I'm going to make it fall on the bed. Yeah, because it's fun. <laughs> and it's always failed. No. <laughs> and I don't I'm think pretty it's... sure the bear... Oh, uh, no, no. No, because you're in a tree. Oh, no, I jumped down for the oh. last part. Of I think the bear fell on me. You might have. I don't remember. Um, but point of the matter is, you are able to bounce out or jump back enough to where... Like it, like it's its severed neck is like right in front of you, sure. but you are able to bounce far enough back. Can I use a resolve point to get my stamina back since combat's over? Nope. What? Because combat's not over. You piece of trash. You know I'm, I am so low on health. All of a sudden, like that, you hear this thud. Well, you don't. I mean, you you obviously see the thud. Like you see the body fall. Right. And then you just say, you just you hear this. Hey, what was that? And then, not from in the armory, behind you, two large, dark, humanoid creatures. Oh, gosh. Come the elves. Bouncing out. It's the elves. And you hear two blaster fires. Both miss. They they, they don't (laughs) switch you. But it's... Yes. Like, you, you got pretty close. Sure. You are still in combat. Great. 30 feet away, you see these two large, dark figures. You can't see, like, because of the lighting, you cannot see sure. what they are, but they are there. Sure. Did I not click? I apparently... No, I don't think you did. There we go. That's better. Now we're in battle mode. Um, took, you know, the entire first... Here, Shut up. Um, let me. So your initiative scores will still stay. Sure. Let me just get these guys. Darn. Because <laughs> I have an eight. <laughs> an eight? Yeah. Um, well, so far, the first one's worse than you. Wait, no, I. Yeah, 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 I have an eight. Um, so, Kit. I didn't, I didn't get a look at them, but is he able to recognize them as the creatures that, like, player knowledge, is he able to recognize them as the creatures that we were badged by? No. So they are clearly different. Yes, these are clearly different than what you were, um, what? Can I see what they're wearing? Like, like I, I mean, they're wearing armor that's a little, like, it's kind of similar to the Enforcers, or not the enforcers, the warriors. Oh my gosh, the guards right. on the ship. Um, it's just a little more... Like, you see, like, red lights. Like, almost like red LEDs all along the sure. armor. Sure. Like, along the chest plates. Right. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of, like, a little, like, sharper. It's not as uh-huh. rounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is... Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. sure. Hey, we forgot to add that weapon that I acquired from the other guy. What weapon was it? What weapon? Oh, the rifle. The, the rifle. From the Formian. From the Formian that we, that we fought he last time. He picked up their uh, hunting rifle. I believe is what it is, yeah. He picked up oh! the rifle. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! That's right. Um, it is... <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Is it the bad. same one I have? It's the same one you just bought. <laughs> so you have two. Hey. Can I? <laughs> but, if you ever have to read one, you just plus swap eight. to another. It's a plus eight? Yeah, so it's, it deals 1d8 plus... It's a plus eight to attack. It's a better version. But it's a plus three on okay. damage. But hey, so here's the thing. Can I just 
No, because it's Tristan. Later. Just, yeah, you could. Yeah, you like from, just a reminder. Like from just a reminder. Um, I've never seen The Patriot. Um, I've seen a lot of movies, okay? But that's not one. Uh, anyways, my point is, if one of your weapons gets hacked, you got to back up one. Because your weapons can get hacked. It deals 1d8 plus 3 fire damage. <laughs> Okay, so this is the one that you got from the Formian. Though it's pretty much the same rifle, it is stronger. It is. And you said it's plus what to the actual attack? It gives you a plus eight. Attack plus unless eight. your crap. normal attack bonus is better. Oh, it's, unless it's, it's not. It's, it's plus it's four. Because yeah, those will not combine. So it's you'll take either the plus eight or the plus four. Not a plus four. Holy crap, that's yeah. delicious. Okay. So actually, just do this. Just mark it as a plus four, so that way. So I like, add it. Okay. Yeah. That way you add your standard bonus and then the plus four to it, just so it's easier in the future. Sure. Gotcha. All right. Okay. My turn then. Yes, it is your turn. Cool. So they're coming from the hallway, right? Yep. They are behind you. They're about forty feet. Cool. Uh, I turn around. I'm still in photon stance. I'm now fully attuned. So, I'm like. I'm like super cool now. <laughs> I can do super cool Solarian things now. Uh, but I turn around, look out. There you go. Like noticing they're kind of dressed like guards. Uh, I just go, hey, we found our foreman. I killed it. I think that's a good thing, unless you guys are bad, in which case, you know, we could keep going. And also, if, if you are with them, I killed your friend. Pretty sure that's one to three seconds. Uh, six seconds for now. <laughs> this was. Oh yeah. What is the seconds. goblins yelling? It's that one. Okay. Continue. Uh, so I say that to them, uh, for what it's worth. Uh, and then, is there like a wall I can hide behind since they're shooting at us? I mean, if like, you wanted to take a. It would end up being a 10 foot step back. Um, like, if you're facing them, take 10 feet behind you, you'd be able to step inside the armory and hide behind the door. It seems like. We have to access to the whole armory, we don't have to buy anything. I'm. That's not how my character. Gatling gun! That's <laughs> not how my character. <laughs> I, I go. You don't have the time to become acquainted with the weapons to have any proficiency for them. I don't have to have proficiency. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> that's advantage every time. Anyway. Um, right. uh, like, as I'm saying, <laughs> I make my way behind cover. And just like, so if you could stop shooting us, that would be really awesome. Because we're, we're really just trying to help. <laughs> and uh, that that will... Uh, oh wait, I can take uh, dodge as my action, so they roll disadvantage. You okay. all attacks against me. Okay. And I've got full cover anyway. All attacks or just for the next turn? Like, well, uh, like, until the next, until my If you're peeking, that would probably be three. Three quarters. No, I'm not peeking. I'm behind the wall. Like, okay. entirely. Like, I said what I had to say, and I'm behind the wall. So, yeah, that's that's gonna be my turn. Um, okay. So, the. You're just gonna hear a. He's behind the door! And then, you're just gonna see. Let me. Like, hold on, just, just for clarification, I went, like, behind the door, and there's and a wall there, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, like, you're, like, because the door is shut still, there's just right. a hole in the door. But, like, so there, there's a wall beyond the door, right? Yeah. Yeah, I go to the wall, because I'm not an idiot, I know the door can be open. No, door, because it's damaged, door won't open. Okay, well, I, it needs go, to be I go open. behind the wall anyway, okay. like, through the hole in the door, to the wall. Um, does a... Disadvantage plus armor bonus from full cover. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And I got full cover. That's, that which helps is, you. Um, like a plus four to AC or something. Larry! Yeah, because it's fourth. That makes sense. Does a. Frickin' A. 13. That's a miss, Chief. Alright. 
So you you hear this ding ding hit the wall, and it's going. Ugh, oh, grenades. Gosh, I love grenades. Uh, it's your turn. Is that smoke? Huh? Yeah, what? smoke. Because he was. It's not he's, smoke. He's no. still outside. It it kind of like it basically lets off like a little sh- like electrical electric ball. Uh, oh gosh. It's not able to get through grenade. the door. Um, and then it just. Gone. Like as quickly as it was there, it's gone. Okay, I'm going to. Can I say? Because um, because that happened like pretty soon after. Can I say that as we were? Because I didn't know about my laser rifle. Can I say that as in between the transition from where that creature died and them showing up? Can I have switched to my my rifle? I'll let you switch. Um, okay. You won't be able to make an acrobatics. Like, you won't be able to do, like, the drop down shoot yeah. and jump back up. It'll um, be, oh, yeah. Like, I'm, jump I'm down planning shoot. on, like, just peeking down, taking a pop shot because the smoke Can you is do still. Because he doesn't have hand access. He's using both hands for the rifle. Sorry. If I I'm if I hold on with my legs. Like, because you said I don't it's. Know what you're you said it's. To, but... Are, is it, like, pipe? Yeah, and... you'll be. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Like, cool. pipe and, like,. Yeah, because I, be I would like, and, like yeah, jam my yeah. leg in there, you know, yeah. and bend down because the the smoke is still I there. I feel right? no pain. <laughs> um, make an athletics check for me. Athletics. Strength. Nineteen plus. Yeah, no, you're six. fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're able to keep yourself. It's asleep. You're able to keep yourself hanging enough to where you can easily take a, a decent shot. From okay. There. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a pop shot at the whichever one threw the grenade. Okay. Um, that's gonna be a 16 to hit. 16 to hit. Is that energy on? Um, I believe that's energy on. It would be energy, yeah. Weapon, yeah. It hits them. All of them would be energy because they're all laser. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, um, that's a hit. Awesome. So okay. I'm going to roll my. So again, it's 1d8 D8 plus 3. It's going to be a 4. So a 4 total? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, do you want to still remain stealth? Yes. Alright, give me a stealth check. Here we go. 15 plus 11. 26. 26. 26. <laughs> Hold on. Math. I got some bad news, Slim. They, they both you. see you. Does the raft do the rafters count as partial cover? I don't think that affects that. Mm-hmm. Just they both space. know exactly where you are. The second one is going to drop to a knee. He's gonna take a shot at you. I have a bad feeling about this. It's time for you to finally take some freaking damage. I already did. Oh, yeah, that's right, you took a little bit of damage. I basically, um, I aggroed him and made him come and fight me. Yeah. Like, hey, we. <laughs> yeah, that's happen. gonna hit. Eighteen on the die. No, actually. On the die. No. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> his armor, his kinetic armor is an eighteen. Is that kinetic? kinetic? That's energy. It literally just barely hits by mm-hmm. one. Oh, because I forgot the bonus. Yeah. Okay, but. That's the 18 on the die, yeah. not with the bonus. Yeah, right, the right. Bonus. <clears throat> well, you guys get the total number. That is just courtesy. Stop. Uh, 26. Yeah. You didn't have to give on the die, though. So now we know his bonus. <laughs> yep. um, That's a freaking huge bonus, dude. It's an 8, an eight it's less bonus. Than I guess I got maybe. You got lucky, though. Uh, you get. You take two points of damage. <laughs> oh, these guys are much better balanced. Okay. Yeah, you went from CR3 oh, to the... no, I don't have current 2. I have current 11. I put the 2 damage instead of taking the 2 damage. Um, and so after his shot, he's going to move up. Um, like, he's going to stand back up to both, both feet, and then yeah. he's going to run off to the side. He only moves up 20 feet. Sure. So he's ten feet from you. He's about five feet from you. Sure. But like, of course, you're up in the rafters. Um, but he is kind of hiding behind cover. It's sure. pretty much the same as yours, where it's like it's cover. 
It's really, it's there, but it's really not. Right. Uh, it's there, but a blaster will. Uh, yeah, a blaster yeah. can it easily will still hit. Yeah. Um, it's your turn. So where are they in relation to me? So you are. I'm behind you. They were forty. F- oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There, he's twenty feet still from you because sure. they were forty feet away. I apologize. Right. Um, How close are they to each other? Now they're twenty feet apart. They're twenty feet apart. Okay. So the one so is the still standing where he was. Um, the one is twenty feet up, twenty feet from you. Sure. And he's, I'm sorry, he is fifteen feet from you. Okay. Cool. Makes more sense. So um, what I'm gonna do then is first off, I am going to uh, become unattuned. So the uh, brighter light kind of fades. Um, he's twenty feet from me. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, in that case, I keep will... in mind to attack, you will have to make a five foot step. Yeah, to I get can, into the. But room. I can step back too. Um, I don't really want to do that, but I kind of do. All right, I think what I'm gonna do then. Uh, gonna take the step and I'm gonna chuck my knife at this guy that moved in close because it's got the range for it. That's a natural twenty. You wanted to hit the guy that was in closer? Yeah. Okay. Natural twenty. So. And what 20. are you hitting him with? My dagger. I'm throwing it. Okay. Uh, so let's see. That is gonna. You don't have a bonus of dex. Huh? You don't have a bonus? It's strength based. You're already strength based. Oh, you don't have, wait, you don't have a bonus? Then? You said just 20. No, I said 27. 20. Oh, okay. That's okay. Uh, so that's going to be 8 points of piercing damage. Okay. And, and then uh, the knife will fly back to me and I'll step back behind cover. Okay. So there's kind of like a triangle in, like, there's a straight pillar and then it's kind of like a triangle right there yeah. and you can like you can clearly see, see like his just... back is against it yeah and, but you're, you're like you throw the dagger and it just goes <laughs> so it like stabs right into the back of his shoulder and then just rips out and it's here a... <laughs> as he like, and, like he's just in pain as i step back i'm like i tried to negotiate mm. step back behind cover okay the negotiations were short <laughs> they were short is that your turn? Uh, I believe so. I don't think I can do much. I don't think bonus actions are so much of a thing in this game from what I've read. Okay. So, so then... I um, believe that is my turn. So my master plan could not be done. <laughs> I've had this item in my inventory. I bought it <laughs> at the start of the game, and I still haven't had the chance to use it. Uh, so he... The, the first guy, the guy that's still 40 feet out, Yeah. Um, he's 35 feet from you. He's going to take a shot at you this time. Yeah, because he knows where you are, so he's going to That's take crazy. a shot at you. How, how far away is he from him? Huh? How far away 35. is he from him? 35, 35. right? Gotcha. Um, that is a, again, against EAC, that is a 19. Yes. Okay. Just barely. By two points, guys, by two points. Can't believe that is going to be six points of damage. A little worse than last time. He can. He gets a little. So the first shot was kind of like a. He shot your heel, like just kind of graze. This one, he kind of got like on your side. It's a little bit of a better shot. Um, causes a little bit more pain. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna do the same. He's gonna move up, and then he's gonna. So basically, one's gonna be on the right. This one's gonna be on the left, oh, and they're both at twenty feet now. Why didn't I wait? Sick. I forgot uh, all the actions. It would have been so good. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless your soul. <laughs> Bless your other soul. Bless oh my lord. Uh, so it is your turn, kid. Okay, I'm going to shoot the sucker that shot me. Which one? The second one. The second one? Yeah. Okay. The most because he's further guy away. Shot him. So the guy that just that just shot him. Yeah, the one who actually did How damage. Uh, so they're, now both, they're now both 25 feet. But like from each other. Fifteen feet from there, me. Uh, it's like an eight foot hallway. Cool. So essentially. Well, because he can he can target the other one, but he can't target the new the second one, right? Yeah, they're both kind of same kind of cover. Oh, okay. I thought that. Oh, I didn't double see. that damage, by the way. I'm sorry. So it's uh, sixteen so, points. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I thought because it was a hallway. I 
totally forgot that was a crit. I thought because it was like a hallway, it was like that, and then like they're here and here, or now he's like here, and he's like here. How's that working? No, no, they, they, they're the like one across moved up. from each other. Lair. Yeah, they, they, the other one moved up, so now they're both 20 feet away. They're just on opposite sides of the hallway. Okay. So one's to the left, one's to the right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. I am going to... Do you want me to roll for um, athletic, or, or athletics again? If you're trying to stay up there, yes. Okay. Whew! 19 plus 6. Okay, you're still good. 25. 25. All right. I'm going to take a shot at this sucker. Which... Uh, okay. Ooh, not the best. Um, that's gonna be a th- of what? A fifteen to hit. Jeez, that is a miss. Freaking heck! Energy armor. Yeah. All right. Seeing that it misses, um, I'm going to hop down and dash into the um, armory. Make an acrobatic check for me. Okay. Go to bed. Uh, that's gonna be an 18. You die. Give me a second. You straight die. Um, okay, Dark yeah. So you're died. able to very easily... Go ahead. Um, you're able to hop down. Um, you kind of stumble for a second, but nothing too serious. And then you're able to just bounce right into the armory. Um, so I'm assuming now you're both on each side of the wall. Yes, but before... I'm going to do a quick scan for any grenades. In the armory? Yeah. Give me a perception check. The that... smoke in the armory is a little bit thicker. Right. Keep is it mind. still at the top, or is it in the actual it, it's room? Get, it's a little lower, because uh, it's seeping out of the armory into the hallway. Okay, that's a um, 22. Okay, yeah, you can find some basic grenades in there. Yeah. Fun time. Oh, boy. I collect them. Okay, I think we can pick up two. Oh, only two? Oh. Is there only two? No. It it normally takes an action to pick things up. Oh. And you've already taken your action anyway. Okay, awesome. No, dude, I'm just going to the restroom. Alright, keep going. Okay, hold on. I have to pull up about the grenades. Okay. They're grenades. They do things. Alright, so the second one... He's going to, so it's now the other guy's turn, the one that you threw the dagger at. Yep. Um, he is going to, again, throw a grenade into, or he's going to attempt to throw the grenade into the hole there. Sure. Oh my god, dude. Uh, That's ten's not going to hit either. Heck no. Uh, so again, he, this <laughs> is bad. He throws, I guess if he throws with the arm that, can you chill? No. Nah. He throws with the arm that uh, you hit, yeah. uh, and so he kind of throws it, and it lands like five foot short of the door, and then just, awesome. and that's it. Cool. My turn then. Yeah, I don't know what the crap is going on with this dog. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do? Lay down. Is I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna pull out from my pocket. I have a grenade that I've had. A what? I have a grenade. I've had this thing. I mm-hmm. bought this through it. So I'm gonna <laughs> chuck it out the door. Uh, they need to make reflex saves because I don't have to contend with Amy so much here. Oof. So one is a dirty 20 and one is a 5. Uh, both of those fail. What? A 21 with my throw roll. What? Welcome to the funds of having so, oh, by the way, I'm in Graviton stance. I forgot to say that. Uh, yeah, welcome to the fun. Okay, roll damage. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of damage. It hits both of them, by the way. Just I figured that's. Wait, what'd you do? Twelve points of fire damage. So is the frag grenade just? <laughs> Wait, you picked up a grenade too? Oh, I had this grenade. I bought it. Mm-hmm. This was the uh, the fun uh, copycat. Strategy. I had this originally. Why do you throw it? Wait, what was the attack roll on both of them? Huh? Uh, what was the attack roll? That's not how grenades work. It's a it's a reflex save uh, for damage, unless you're aiming for a specific spot through cover, which is what we have. 
So that that's the difference. I'm not, Larry. I don't have to lay down. But specific. trust me, you wouldn't like these. Yeah, they're freaking disgusting. Go to bed. So yeah, go to bed. Check it out. So the grenade goes off, and you just hear the <laughs> the Wilhelm scream, and one of them is just now laying in the middle of the hallway, just torched. Cool. Let me erase this grenade from my inventory. I freaking have I got, a soundboard, but I, I just, have not been using this. I just, I just go. That was a grenade. Well, word. Um. Okay, and then. Did you kill so, both of them? We killed one. one of them. Okay. Do I did crap ton damage. Um, All right. So. Yeah, I believe that's my turn. All right. So the remaining one, he is going to. Oh freak! I killed the lower initiative guy. That stinks. Yeah. What a bummer. The, uh, so the next guy, or the remaining guy, he's gonna pull out one of his grenades and he's gonna check it at you. Here we go. That is a 22. 22. It's going for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Reflex save, let's go! Uh, that's gonna be, let's see, what, what did you get? Yeah. 22. 22. I succeed. It's a half. Yep. Lay down. Huh? 13. Yeah, you don't have it. Larry, lay down. Alright, so let's get some damage up in so, here. So what happens is I, is I run to try to swat the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. the grenade back. But it, it, oh, it's it's a shock grenade? it explodes on impact. Yes. It's, a, oh, fudge. it's a shock grenade. Does that do anything to him because he's an android? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but... Um, so good, that is, it's only oh. three points of damage. Oh, no. good. Yeah. oh, really? It's only three points of damage. Heck yeah! You take two. Total? Yeah. You Holy take... shnikes. Yeah, I take that one. Oh, you do it down? Yeah, yeah, down. yeah you, you round down for having things. Cool. Only two? It, there's like a little... Uh, do you have... Do you have, um... What's it called? Are you more sensitive to electric damage? I don't... It didn't state it. Not, uh, not I that I know no. of. Then I... I yeah. I, I mean, I think it, logically it would make sense, it but would, I don't but have anything. I and I would do a double check because I yeah, don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll go check for you. You can focus on stuff because your turn's coming. Oh, up. side note: Have I showed you guys these? Oh, I think it was and on my he's story. He's gonna but... take his full action. I was, I was. Oh, I getting saw stuff in the freezer. My freaking eye. Look at my eyelashes. There's. Uh, ice on my eyelashes. Is there anything about electric damage when it comes to affecting constructs? The grenade went off. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Uh, for constructs in regards to electric damage. That's what I need to know. Uh, it says that androids count as both humanoids and constructs. I would probably assume no. Uh, especially just being the fact that he is an android, I would assume that his... Um, like, we're gonna say that his... His, uh... Basically, his construction is advanced enough to where he's not going to be susceptible to the electrical damage, like extra okay. damage. Uh, so there's no, you don't get a resistance to it, but you're not, like, you're not weak to it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, and then he is going to take a full. Yeah, I know. He's going to take it. his full movement speed back, like sure. to kind of retreat, um, which puts him at 55 feet away from you. 55 feet away, you got it. <coughs> I'm sorry, 45 feet away. 45 feet away. Is your kid's turn. <laughs> oh yeah, because you got some range. I got range to spare. Yep. Roll damage, or roll attack. It's going to be a 19 to hit. That is a hit. That is going to be... That is going to be eight points of fire damage. So you shoot. Like, as he's running... Tell me it's the buddy elf thing. Buddy huh? elf. Tell me it's the buddy elf thing. Are you shooting him, or are you throwing a grenade? No, I'm shooting him. I just so messed up. as he's running, like, he's trying to retreat, you just pull... Like, you just kind of, like, pop around the corners. And just dead center of the back, this bolt hits him, and he just... And doesn't move. Okay, I go. You are out of initiative. 
Cool. I'm okay. gonna use a resolve point to hey. gain back stamina. Hey, okay. Yeah. Stay here, I'm gonna gather the bodies and bring them into the armory just in case. I think maybe you just leave them where they are. I think that's good. If there are more opponents, they may see the bodies and know that there's danger. We wanna get the surprise on them if they approach. I'm kind of thinking the big smoky hole in the wall will be signing up. Still, I also want to loot their bodies. <laughs> I think you should just, let's just wait a minute. Let's, if whatever ammunition we use, let's refresh here. I'm keeping these grenades. I guess I can't really stop you. Can I, can I... Can I identify smoke grenades? Um, so I have two frag grenades, right? Yeah, you have two frags. And you want to try and find smoke grenades. Way, that was a yeah. frag mark, too. Oh my god. Yeah. The frag mark ones are only 1d6. Uh, smoke grenades, yeah, you see a couple of smokes. Can I grab two of them? Yeah. Or how many are there? You only see two. Okay. I was assuming, but not everybody uses couple to mean two. I'm I'm also limiting how many you can or how many things you can grab out of the armory. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, fine. Because uh, it's kind of okay. after taking the moment just and heal up my stamina there while he grabs the grenades. I step out with the uh, my whip raised, looking out into the hallway, which. I need to erase my point of attunement because we're not in combat anymore. Um, anything else out in the hallway? Make a perception check. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand right by the entrance to the door oh, with my yeah, re-roll that with my weapon at the ready. It wasn't that good anyway. Natural twenty. So thank you. Uh, do you want the bonus? Because it's a plus seven. Uh, you can't see anything hurt. Okay. Um, um I'm gonna stand. In like a guard posi- position. Sure. In like, Norway. Uh, yeah. Anything on like the forman looks like the one we caught the day before. Yeah, it's right? pretty much the exact same. Cool. Um, and they look insect in nature. Uh, does it look like it's got a comm device or anything on it? Not that you can tell. Not that I can tell. Um, okay. You can probably assume they have some way of communicating, but right, right, you can't right. determine what uh, that way is. Cool. I'll walk over to the two guys uh, that started shooting at us after getting closer look, what do I notice? Um, what do I see? Give me one second. When you ask the DM something and they gotta check their notes. <laughs> when the DM has a conversation between two friends. Dude, that's yes. my favorite thing because I do that all the time. Dude, I'm so glad. I I don't know. That's my favorite. I'm assuming meme. that somebody else has made a meme like that. But Probably, but that's my favorite meme. It is so good. Guys, I made Finn's favorite meme. Make a culture check for me. Culture check? Heck yeah. And then my, my furry meme is not as good, uh, but it's still funny. That's a 17. <laughs> uh, you can tell that they're elves of some way. Gotcha. But you don't like you can't tell specifically like what kind of like subculture they might be or anything sure. like that. Um, Finn's big, big brain moment was right. But <laughs> uh, yeah, the sad part is that wasn't in character. Um, so yeah, you know that they're elves. Sure. Um, again, you can't tell exactly because um, I mean, like the one dude's like burnt to a crisp. They made did a good number on him, right. and the other guy like, there's just you know he's pretty mangled. Um, just from the damage that y'all dealt to him. Sure. Uh, so it's, it's hard to purely identify exactly what they were. Uh, did they have, like, what do they got on them besides the rifle? Um, shoot. I'm gonna need to scroll all the way back through. Sorry. Um, so they also have a Taklash. A Taklash? Taklash. What's um, a Taklash? I think it's a kind of melee weapon. Okay. Kind um, of melee let weapon. Let me try and hold that. Um, oh, yeah, that bug creature is closest to, the, closest to the door, right? Yeah. He's right in the door, yeah. I'm going to grab his rifle as well. Okay, so you now have two plus four weapons. 
And a third rifle. I have three rifles on my back. <laughs> I can sell them. The Get next, money the me. next rifle you pick up, I'm gonna put you under encumbrance to where. You oh no, that's fine. Pass. I'm not planning on picking up another one. I, I want to sell the crappier one and keep. I don't know if I want to keep the two though. Because the way I'm thinking about it, I switch between my pistols and my sniper quite often, and if one of them gets hacked, I have two more pistols. You know. Uh, so that's a clash. Uh, I think I might be saying that wrong. You've got feels... four rifles currently. I have three. Oh no, because you sold your sniper rifle. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it deals one d four slashing damage. I'm not gonna bother picking it up. I love that. I love that. Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother picking it up. Um, I got a solar whip of whippiness, so. Um, ain't nothing else on them. Like, no communicators, nothing. Uh, not that you can really see. It seemed to be. No. They they do not have any communicators on them. Right. Um. Does it look like they were part of the guard here? Like, what the heck was their deal? No. Uh. So they were definitely not a part of the ship guard. Gotcha. Um, whatever they were. Definitely was not meant to be on. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, they were definitely not meant to be on this ship originally. Sure. Uh, I yell back to Kib. I go, hey, Kib. Anything uh, looks like it looked like that for me and took anything from the, uh, the armory? I was just about to check that. Cool. Uh, I do. <laughs> what? Nothing. Do I hear any? Did it did it take anything from the armory? What? The well, I mean, I checked I checked them already, but just like. Oh, okay. No. No. Whatever. Whatever they were trying to get. I'm sorry. The heck was that? That was. That whatever was they were trying so cool. to get, um, you were able to like you guys got there quick enough to where you prevented them from getting it. Okay. Sure. I'm so sad that I didn't do this already. I'm so sad that I already made my character normal. I could have made it so that he could only communicate in memes. <laughs> I just have a soundboard. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I would refuse to play at that point. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, you'd kind of be like. No, God, please, no. Yeah, pretty much. That that sounds like K. Hey. Um, right. Does it sound? It doesn't sound like there's any like conflict going on, still, right from here. Not from what you can hear. Like, right. you might hear the stray blaster fire, like super far off in the distance. Like you Somewhere might hear like an walls, echo, right, right. but it's very much far away from you. Sure. Uh, you know what? I say we go into the armory and figure out what the heck these guys are trying to focus on. Something tells me it wasn't just guns. Because they've already got guns. Lots of guns. You can do that. I don't like the idea of angering the captain. I mean, what else are we going to do? She could kick us off our ship. No, what else are we going to do? Go back to our dorms? Guard the outside? She told us not to do that already. Pretty sure she'd just be mad. But she also did tell us to do it. And it seemed irrational that she would tell us not to do that. That's fair. We can just leave. Looking back in my memory banks, I can't find any reason why she did. You know, I got a fair idea. We just leave. We don't speak of this. This never happened. Alright? You get what I'm saying, right? The Formians? No. We weren't here. We didn't do this. So we just go back to our dorms. Who? Or whatever they're called. But I've acquired a few items they would know. Just replace them with another one. But I have uh, explosives that I am fond of keeping. them back. 
If you don't want her to get angry, you'll put him back. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. People don't like it when you take things. Give me, both of you give me perception checks. Again? Natural 18 plus 4, 22. Uh, that's cocked. Is that cocked? It's a 14. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 7 is 21. Okay. You said 22? Okay. Dude, what is it with you and these high DCs? It's a 25 DC. It's always a 25 DC. I will stand guard if you want to go check. No, let's just go. Well, I do still have to put these grenades back. Well, go put them back. Okay. I go and put the grenades back. As he turns to go into the door, because he can't sense this, you get this unnatural chill. Oh, yeah, because you wouldn't get this kind of thing. Like, the room got... COVID. Cold. Like... I don't have sensors for that? No. I thought... Not, I would think that I would have like you'd have something for like extreme since it well I I would I but I would it would be really precise okay, yeah, sensors you would, though you would like get, room temperatures but if and it's stuff. like if it's like a you and like know, oxygen content and stuff if it was like a natural thing then yes like you can look down the hallway and tell okay this is what the ambient temperature is in the hallway but he's right like this kind of chill like an unnatural like a un- spine chill kind okay of thing. gotcha you wouldn't get um, that you, you don't you can't feel that so it's almost like a sixth sense that you just can't notice just lack yeah okay so i don't notice an actual precision change to what's happening okay. um but it feels like like to you it feels like the room it's cool. like it feels like you just walked into Did a bridge. It, does it feel like it originated from behind me, the armory, or in front of me, kind of thing? Where are you facing? I'm I'm facing away from the armory currently. It feels like it started behind you. That's what I thought. Uh, I immediately. Uh, anything above me. Like and nothing in front of me, right? Uh, does it feel like cold? Just like it's lingering, or like what's it doing? Uh, yeah, it feels like it's lingering, um, and it feels like, to give you a little bit of, like, imagery, um, it, nothing visually is happening. Right. Which is why he's completely oblivious. Right. Um, and this, this is part, like, this is based on not your perception checks. This is just based on human, not human. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm human. Human. Yeah, you are human. Cool. Um, so think of it like whenever you put dry ice in water. And, like, right. you see the smoke kind of, like, cascading out. Right. That's kind of how the cold is. It's as though the cold is, like, cascading out of the armory. Right. But, again, there's no actual temperature change. Right. It's right. just, like, you just feel something. something. Sure. Uh, you know, it does interest me. What is in here? But I personally don't want to get in trouble. Maybe you... Give it a look. Go and put your grenades back. Does the armory have logs? No. Okay. At least that none that are functional. Do any weapons like really pique my interest? Okay. I, I place my grenades back and I go back to the the edge of the door. Is that cold still there? The cold is there. The cold has gotten stronger. So I figured. Uh, right. Um. Gotta get that ambient music ready. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm running through what Kate would do in this situation. That's not right. It's more computery than you were thinking. I feel like I'm watching Alien right now. That's kind of right to how it's sounding right now. Maybe minus the smoke. 
Or the cold pressure. Uh, so yeah, that's about what it's sounding like right now. Okay. With a few distant blast rifles. Yeah. Uh, ready. You ready? Do me a favor. Both of you, just both of you roll initiative. I, I just, this needs to be turn based, so I need to know. Okay. Um, that's better. 17. 22. 22? My initiative bonus. Larry, can you like not, dude? I'm rolling well tonight. This is great. Except for that one I rolled on. Wait, what'd you get? Uh, 22. Jeez. Okay. Um, okay. Um, before you can do anything else, the cold, is, it feels as though it's like right behind you almost. But there's nothing there kind of thing, right? You can't see anything there. Right, right. And you're starting to pick up something. It's still... Based off of his reactions or... Like you are personally starting to pick up something. It's st- it's not anything natural. There's nothing on like there's nothing going on in the room. You can't sense anything. You just you kind of like get. It's almost as though you kind of developed your own sixth sense, mm-hmm. and it's now just like. Okay, what was that? Kind of sure. All right. Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna go into photon stance, um, which means I'm. Which, before, I was shedding a uh, light 20 feet out from me. Mm -hmm. Um, So, with that in mind, I turn to Kib and I go, Yeah, I'm done. And I begin making my way down the hallway, my full movement. Like, away from the armory. Okay. Whip still in my hand because I haven't taken it down because there's still combat in the distance. As he's leaving, I'm going to say, wait. Something isn't right. At that moment, both of you hear, not audibly, but mentally, you just hear, Even though you are down the hall, to both of you, now you're picking up a temperature change. It is quickly dropping temperature. Oh yeah, can I dash as an action in this in Pathfinder? Is that thing? I mean, you can take a full round motion, like full round, yeah, a full round um, movement action, right, right, and move double speed. Yeah, but like you don't have a standard action. Like your standard action is you moving. That, that's what I meant. Yeah. So you yeah. can, like, you would be able to move double your speed. Sure. For one. For yeah. Turn. In that case, here. 60 feet of movement. <laughs> well, not, it's more so like, you know what I mean. Huh? What? You're running. <laughs> You're running? Oh, never mind. Nothing. I was, I was messing around, like, music for running. Oh, I did. did, 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 did but, um, did, okay. Did. So... It, it is my turn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am going to... Seeing that he's continuing to run, I'm going to start sprinting. Sure. But I would like to try to... In the logs, do I remember seeing any sort of information about which communication uh, frequencies they use? Uh, yeah, you would. Yeah, you would be able to pick that. Okay, can I access a frequency? I have to look them up. We've been here, dude. Um, Don't look at me, I'm not saying anything. Um, but I'm going to access one of the frequencies of, like, the guards. Um, the, the guard frequencies or, or one of their communication frequencies that would be closest to the captain or, or one of the guards, like, one of the higher-up guards. Okay, yeah, you, you'd be able to find... Uh, like you would have been able to find like the senior command kind of 
like the senior guard uh, frequency. Okay. Um, and if you want to move, if you want to do a full round movement um, as a free action, I'll let you tune to that frequency, but you won't be able to say anything yet. Okay. Um, so instead of sprinting, could I just do my movement like a quick pace um, instead of like sprinting and do my full time six because I get the extra? But um, oh, that's right. can I just go ahead and do my full movement and then actually communicate? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just so I know what's your full movement. Uh, oh, and I don't have the minus five, no, minus five arm anymore. Thirty. Yeah. So 30? it's thirty feet. Okay. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Which, by the way, I'm not running. I just take the double. Yeah. 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 Okay. So running thir- is four times. Thirty feet. Um, and then I'm going to communicate. Is anybody there? Um. Make a computer check for me. You like your computers. Heck yes. 30. Okay. So. <laughs> That's the highest roll we've gotten yet, dude. <laughs> so. Operators are busted. You, so you both, like, you're moving as fast as you can. Kind of. Like, you're, like, you're walking as I'm quickly walking as you can. Um, and you're kind of trying to keep a good steady pace behind. Mm-hmm. But oh, you're also. Or rather. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're like, you're also trying to do other stuff in the middle of it. Right. All of a sudden, you both kind of feel this <laughs> kind of go past you, mm-hmm. and the cold is now in front of you. That was lovely. The transmission stopped, but because of your check, you know that basically the frequency, like, there's something blocking the frequencies around. Like, the frequency's not dead. You just can't access it anymore. You're kind of getting, like, RFID blocked. Crap. Kind of deal. Awesome. It's okay, I'll just hack into the mainframe. I'm in. (laughs) Every freaking cop movie ever. (laughs) Whoa! That was a big creature. It's a moth. No, it's it's a pterodactyl is what that is. (laughs) God dang, like seriously though. Uh anyway. My turn. Cool. So cold's in front of me. Cold is in front of me. Awesome. Uh I stay in Photon Stance, putting up to two the two men points. The light getting a little bit brighter. Um uh, I go. So uh Cold. Get out, but you're in front of us, blocking us. I'm getting mixed signals here. Um, do you want us to keep going or what? No response, I take it. Go right, cool. Uh, and I will just, uh, as I stand there, take the uh, dodge action just in case or whatever might come. Uh, I'll be ready for it. Okay. Since it's now in front, and I'll kind of back up, like, towards Kib. And, uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, is there a panel that I can see that I can access and communicate through? Not anymore. The only panel was with the door. But whenever the door got busted, like the panel got fried. When I do a scan of like the atmosphere, do I see any object from where the cold is? Give me another perception check. Natural one. That's the first one. Nope. That's the first natural one. Plus four, but yeah. You definitely don't see it. Again, you can now tell that there is a temp... Like, you can visually see the temperature Mm -hmm. difference. um, But there's nothing... Like, you can't tell why. Okay, I'm just going to get close to him and quickly explain that I see a, a drop in temperature. Wow, that's 
Really useful, kid. Really useful. Out of nowhere. I am in standstill. Oh, frick, hold on. Suck it. Okay, still. Out of nowhere. Well, what is it? Disadvantage. Uh, twenty-seven. Dude, what the freak is with your balancing? It is all over the place. That's an eleven. That's with an eleven. That's a flipping sixteen bonus to attack. What do you mean with an eleven? That's eleven. Uh, this is a hold on now. Hold on. With disadvantage. You don't know what I'm doing. Crap. You don't know what I'm doing. Um. Out of it's going nowhere. to give us 50,000 experience points. Yeah, no. Out of nowhere, you start to see basically the what you're feeling to be like the waves of cold, they start to materialize. It's becoming a black mist that this gray creature is just wrapped within and you just this claw just comes out of nowhere once again make a reflex save here we go once again flipping plus 12 to attack that's gonna be a natural 20 you can suck it okay. <laughs> that's what you're you gonna deserve take quarter damage natural 20s you're gonna take Covered in quarter damage, damage. Yeah. Hold on. Let me... With my, you know, low hit points. Really? That's freaking six. Do you oh, not know how balancing works? That was more than four. You've already rolled four times. That You rolled four. Guys, it was you take it was fun. Yeah, having characters. You that take seven points. Of Gosh, damage. that's a freaking quarter. That's a quarter. Yeah. Now throw up. I'm going to throw up. He rolled that five times. <laughs> it is your turn. Great. Is this creature still there? He's still there. Cool. So he's in melee range with me. Might I recommend just run? Oh, yeah. I'm planning on it, but there's a thing called opportunity attacks that I have to contend with. That he gets, like, a plus freaking 16 to. Uh, right. I shouldn't have walked up to where you were. <laughs> I ran back to you. <laughs> Remember? It's true. But I also... Oh yeah, we were already together, so when I said that I walked up to him, yeah, we were already together, so. Cool. So, first and foremost. How far away is he? Right. Anyways, so, first and foremost, before anything else, uh, as is, the bright light... Is that what first and foremost means? Before anything else? I thought it meant, like, after, like, mid... Uh, the, blue, <laughs> the blue light from me and my little solar buddy, or my solar weapon because I've got it in my hand, uh, just <laughs> flyers out with flame and needs to make a reflex saving throw. He actually has good Do I? Us. No, you're good. I can target creatures. Okay. It's pretty nice. These I was about things. to say. Um... No, I can target, I can target uh, <laughs> like, things. Are you seriously things. like basically fireballing me right now? No, it's an AOE. Where's my target okay. people? Uh, 17. 17. Uh, 17 fails. You need an 18. So you're going to take... That's a high freaking DC. Uh, let's see, that's a total of... The second roll is crap, but thankfully I get two. 
that's going to be 10 points of fire damage. And with that, he... My turn is done. Huh? I still get to do okay. other things. Okay. Uh, okay. And then I'm running. Well, if it's a reaction to the damage, then I think that makes sense. That's a what? That it's, that's not how turns work in RPGs. In these. I know, but if he's describing as the DM... Well, if he's describing, but if it's actually doing something... That sounded like what he was going to do. It It sounded like reactionary action. Action. Which is not until his turn. Or if it's a legendary action, that's not until the end of my turn. But Pathfinder doesn't have legendary actions. Um, And with that, I am running down the hallway. So that we don't have to face broken characters like you once again I gave you NPCs that was balanced as because you were running past him yeah I know opportunity attacks but that's your fault not mine actually it is your fault uh no because it it wasn't gonna move anyway it's just gonna attack again I was actually gonna make him go away and then you're like no I'm running he's the one that said to run I just wanted to point that out you did say but never tr- we got never trust the thing. never trust the GM. Oh, with disadvantage. Oh yeah, no, that's still gonna hit. What is it? Um, what did I roll last time? Twenty seven. Yeah, twenty eight. Because I rolled six. What the actual flipping heck? Work on your balancing. <laughs> you can get mad. You're doing this damage to you. No, I'm a DM. I balance things Make. all the time. This is not but balanced. This is the BBEG. Make a reflex. days. Well, that's been fun. Uh, because of the attack, you get advantage. Well, that was for the natural 20, because I rolled 19 the first one. So that's a dirty 20. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Plus 22. You're fine. You take one advantage. Yay. That's going to be a billion points of damage anyway. After that, so you hit him with this fire blast. And the power of the sun compels you. <laughs> he just rise in pain. And then you like while he's like writhing, you bolt past him and he just sinks a ball into you again. Not really sinks it into you, like, he like gets you on your back. Right. Because you're able to move quickly enough. The power of stamina points. <laughs> And then once he realizes you're past, he just <sighs> gone. Upwards? Gone. You're out of initiative. Cool. And it's also late. Probably. I know. End it. I, I know. I know what I'm doing. Okay. We have to be up in the morning, though. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> really quick, because I'll probably forget this if we don't. Uh do this now I'm gonna catch up with you really quick yeah cause I probably could cause I'm really fast I'm fast I'm very fast um uh, anyways very fast. well you're out of initiative now yeah yeah but um I am going to stop you and say we need to tell them about this oh really I didn't know that, that's that's called cool. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I yes. thought it was very obvious that we needed to. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you want to go? Um, I don't have to go anywhere. You can just resolve point number two. Go. <laughs> is anybody there? And you just over the calm. You you hear it spring to life just immediately after you call out, and you just hear a bunch of. And then you hear one broken voice. Help. I, I look over 
anything, they're screwed. Right. Okay. To use so your human what, terms. Yeah, I, I get it. All right. We're going to go to the rooms. We're going to see who's left, and we're going to get everyone the heck off this ship. You do that. I think I should head to the comm systems and let the... F- is there a federation? What, what is the group? I mean, team? you would, you, the packed worlds have a, a universal fleet. Um, I need to let the fleet know. You want to split up in combat with people with guns. By the way, I'm starting to walk into this. Place. I just mean I need to and access with, some sort of a comm system. Well, you can probably get some access through the computers in the dorms. I know. That you works. Know. I'm just saying I need to access some sort yeah. of a comm. So let's go. I've, I've been walking. Okay. Okay. I'll take it back towards the dorm area. Okay. You get to the dorm, and I, I mean, it's, it's yes. bad. Doors are all over the place. Like, literally, some are, some are just stuck open. Some of them are melted through. Some of them are bent open. It's, it's bad. You find a couple of individuals that are that did not make it. Um, you you also see some formians. You see some of those elves. Are there any um, grenades on these bodies? Uh, <laughs> just because I wouldn't care about respecting the dead. Um. So, like, there's a couple of basically fighters on each side that are that have been slain. Any of the. Uh... I guess what you'd say, civilians. We're yeah. allies, don't fire. Huh? We're allies, don't fire. There's, there's you no can't one. see anyone noticeably alive. Like, there's no one standing in this area. No. Anyone. Can I do a quick bioscan? Yeah. You can do that. <laughs> Give me a, I guess it would technically be a life science check. Oh, life science. Not computers. Uh, it'd be life science, technically, yeah. Oof. Still get a plus five. 18. You see... Wait, I don't have a check mark, so do I get the five bonus or no? Uh, for the any ranks in it, or just a plus one? Do you have a rank in it? I, uh, no. Here, I'll, I'll help you. I don't have a, I don't uh, have a rank in it, no. Life science. Why in the f- Oh, because he's got a plus four to intelligence, plus one for being up. Yeah, plus five. I do get that? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah you, you still get that. Okay, yeah, uh, 18. You, it's just okay. the ranks. So, yeah, you... You don't see, like, scanning through, you can't really see much. You see some very, very faint, like, basically, like, people's last breaths almost happening in the moment. Um, Again, both sides. But there's one signal that's, like, not strong, but kind of... I know who it is. That's kind of there. Conrad. I hate you. (laughs) <laughs> in, the, in the corner, um, you just hear, Comrades, over here. I rushed him. I come over as well. Uh, can you were can my I only see, friend on the ship. Can I? Is there any way I can help him? <laughs> <with you>? um, <laughs> medicine checks. Um, um, oh, I heard you. Oh, I have I have plus eight medicine, dude. Let me do it. I already asked, but I have plus seven. I mean, you can oh, both okay, that's make a medicine fair. check. Okay, cool, cool. Yep, you do it, bud. You oh, God. Got this. Is that that one? <laughs> no, it was a four. <laughs> I got a 12. That's cocked. Not much better. That's my oh, first bad roll. Oh, boy. Okay. I got a 12. My first below 10 roll. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Comrades, it was a bloodbath. They came in. They took us weight. <coughs> <laughs> this is a sad I moment, know. man. Shut up. I know. It's just the way Bobby's face went. Alright. So I don't look at him. They took us face to place. There was nothing we could do. And with that, he's gone. God dang it, I want to cry. <laughs> I, I, uh, go down, I do like the eyes closed, and I go, 
The ship is dead. The ship is dead. Uh, does he have anything on him? Like, um, the only thing that you can find is basically a necklace, like a pendant. Um, that was just like his family's yeah symbol. I grab that. Just grab it. I don't wear it. I pocket it because it's not my family. You know, right? Um, I I access the comms. Um, make a computer check. Uh, I know my computer is twelve. So uh, f- um, uh, twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Now that you have access to a functioning. Terminal. Yeah, you're able to get a, a good message out to the fleet, um, and you're able to also do a sh- like a scan on the ship kind of deal. Um, it seems like this has been pretty much all across the board. It's it's not looking good. The ship doesn't seem to be dead, but the signals of help of life you can't tell if they're friends or foes um, and they all seem to be kind of huddled closer to the bridge uh, but you let the fleet know and a commanding officer on the fleet like basically like an admiral in the fleet he basically says you need to get to an escape pod like you need to you need to get to a shuttle an escape pod whatever you can find whatever's closest to you you need to hunker down and you need to, you need to just wait should we activate self-destruct <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if that's a thing on this kind of vessel. It's always a thing on this one. Okay, this cool. Is. Good to know. My knowledge. And if nothing uh, else, I know the weak spots. <laughs> um, uh, I asked. I'm gonna collect those freaking grenades from the armory before we go. I I go. We are not going back to the army. That is a backtrack. We don't have time for this. Uh, is there? Is it a backtrack? I, yes. Yeah. Frank. It essentially, like army is never gonna be. Made so if this long. is if the ship is like this long, are our ships on the? We don't have ships. Ship by the way. Oh, we don't. I thought we. No, not yet. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, but I ask a kid, what's closer, escape pods or hangar? If this thing has a hangar, I don't know. Um, it would be. Um, I mean, it's kind of six one way half dozen the other. It like one's below you, one's above you, but I mean it's. It's six one way half dozen the other. Like you, it takes the same amount of time to get to either one. I go right. I'd rather have control of my vessel. I agree as well. Yeah. Let's go to the hangar. You go to the hangar, especially if there are ships around. Any trouble on the way? Um, no. You're able to pretty much evade it. Uh, again, like most of the light seems to be up by the bridge. Right. Um, and you're not going that close. So you you seem to be able to like stay fairly well hidden without having to make too hard of a self check. Um, but so you, you finally you make your way into the hangar and you just you see bodies like it, the place is littered um, again f- people on both sides just bodies and so you're able to find a, um, a, a grenades were going off there's a lot of ships that are damaged but you are able to find one shuttle um, it's definitely for like official purposes. It looks similar to the kind of shuttle that you would have gotten transported to uh, this mm-hmm. vessel on. Like a transport? Yeah, it's, transport. it's just transport. It's not a fighter in the slightest. Okay. Um, but it's functional and it's able to still be locked. Like, you're able to still lock the ship down. As a last effort, I would like to with my personal comm, or if there's a comm in the room, I would like to is there a captain's like a specific comm for the captain no she would just be part of the senior the senior leadership okay i'll access the the bridges comm and i'm going to listen first oh you hear static uh no um, seeing him like standing still there i'm like what are you doing I'm giving one last shot for the survivors. And I'm going to, um, I'm just going to say, 
right before you're able to say anything, you hear tones. Tones? That's what I Um Obviously not claps, like you hear like a tone. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Um, to the calm in the room, I'm, is there anything that we would know that would be a kind of a code or, or do I see in the access in the comms or in the memory, in my memory, do I see any sort of a, a code word or any word that would stand out to specifically our group, to the fleet's group? Not really. Um, the fleet kind of is aware of what's happening, like what the sh- what this ship's mission was. Um, so they kind of understand what could have happened. Um, but because you are on, or because you're able to access uh, this individual ship, you are able to act like it has access to its own transmitters. Not super long range, but you could at least get a, a message out to the transports. Uh, or to the, not the transports, to the fleet, they are close enough for that. Um, and again, you're able to lock it down to where pretty much nothing would be able to get in. <clears throat> okay. Um, so just to the bridge, um, I'm going to, first of all, if there's any way that I can specifically seal off the bridge anymore um, or override and, and make sure that n- absolutely nothing can get in, um, I'm going to do that. And then I am going to just say, are there any survivors over the comm to the bridge specifically? Um, okay, so you're yeah you're able to you're able to close the bridge off, um, and it's it's kind of like how it was whenever you were there. Um, you're able to like the door is you don't obviously you're not there to see it, but the door shuts and the door locks, and instead of just the four titanium rods locking it an additional eight like basically you put this this thing on such lockdown something has to be able to phase through it to get through it without it being unlocked which that thing probably couldn't but um (laughs) so um but then you ask are there any survivors survivors you said Mm -hmm. um and all you hear in response is just the continuation of the sos signal um okay um I'm also going to lock off the ventilation shafts and everything to the the room, and I'm just cause is does that room have a specific life support system? It has its own, yeah. Okay, it's, it's self-contained. Gonna, it's within the room. Okay, any sort of access point that is imaginable, I'm going to shut off. Okay. Um, and just lock it down and, and try to protect that that specific room, the bridge. So, and with that, I'm. Going to return to the ship right. and just while, give a quick explanation of while he uh, was doing that, I would have gotten into the ship. And uh, what kind of cockpit is it? Like a pilot, co-pilot kind of deal in this thing, or it can be. Um, it's one of those ships that it can be manned. Like it can be piloted by right. two. Right. I'm just asking: Is it like there's cockpit and there's a one? There's two seats, basically. As well. Um. Yeah. There's two seats with cool. ample room for people to stand by as right. well. Uh, I kind of walk in, and as I walk into the uh, cockpit, the weapon fades from my hand, goes back to being an orb around my head, and I slowly make my way into one of the chairs, and I collapse into it, and just after a moment of silence, and Moa just just let out a, just let out a yell just a just a no kind of yell like that you got you got to make surprising you got to surprise people it's you know that didn't spike at all <laughs> that was not uh, just you know yell and uh, put head in hands and cry okay so you um, Kib walks onto the ship um, and as you walk onto the ship, you, you know, you enter a quick code and you lock the ship down. Like, I'm gonna do a quick look around, 
the ship as well, just yeah. to make sure. But yeah, and I mean, everything on the ship, like, the ship somehow managed to make it unscathed. Like, there's a couple, like, small blast marks, but nothing serious. Like, the hull's not in any way, shape, or form um, affected by anything. It was just, like, some little grazes, but everything on the ship is fine. There's no intrusions. Like, there's no one on the ship. The ship was just there, and it somehow made it through the battle. Um, so you get on, you lock the ship down. And right as you're like lock in the middle of locking it down and the door is coming up and locking, you hear him yell from the bridge. Um, and you just kind of know, like you you don't you don't experience emotion, but you have an understanding like it this is a heavy moment. And you just kind of go and sit like you kind of just give him his space, let him be. And you just go um, kind of into where like the crew for the ship would um, would sleep, and you just find a room or find a space, and you just power down. And that's where we're gonna end it. Gosh, I stop. hey, this is your host Tristan from the Distracted Podcast. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Adventures in Space. If you did. Go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to see future content. Don't forget to share this with your friends, and as always, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.